<laughs> Why? Turn your camera What's around. Up? How are you? You can't figure this stuff out. You're too old for this. Mate, let me tell you. Technology when you've got 54 million followers is a bit of an issue. I was scoping, I was going, it was it's 11,000, 12,000. I was going, oh, get out! <laughs> What's happening? How are you? I'm good, buddy. What? Jesus. Just just tilt the camera up a bit. No, 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 no. I want to see the top bit. Your missus has been cutting your hair. Oh, my goodness. Are you happy with Look it? Look at that. Look sharp. It's beautiful. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> That's why I'm wearing a cap. <laughs> I got the um, I got uh, I got some bad, bad, bad. Uh, yeah, I got a half an hour of bad Did stuff. You get I the, I had the, I had the lawnmower out. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. Uh, how's the family? <laughs> we're good, buddy. We're good. Where where are you? Are you in Mumbai? Or where are you? Yeah, we're at home. Just uh, trying to get through, man. It's it's been difficult. It's been um, intense, you know, all over yeah. the world. It's been quite tough. Mm. Um, what's what's been happening in the UK? What's the situation like now? Mate, we're exactly the same. We're in lockdown. We are completely locked down. Um, I've not been up too much. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got two kids running around, but luckily we don't live in the city, so we're not stuck in an apartment like a lot of people. Uh, oh, we've, yes. we've got space, so we've got garden. We're up in the swimming pool today. Um, so we're very, we're very lucky that we've got space, but, um, it's tragic what's happening, huh? Tragic, tragic, tragic. I know, I know, I know. Sweet. You're at Wentworth, aren't you? Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got a nice garden out here. I mean, I'd love to be hitting golf mm. balls, but, uh, we've been told we're not allowed to, all the golf courses are, are closed. So I do a bit of chipping in the golf, in the, um, in the garden, but, but that's about it. Have you got space where you are? Actually, you know, we, we do have space. We... Uh, we went away to a farm mm. uh, before everything got got uh, intense. So we've been lucky. We actually have been in in decent space ourselves. So we can walk around just within the compound. And yeah, as I was just gonna say, just be grateful. You don't, you don't mm. know what people are going through. Just being locked in, and you know, I, I can feel for them. I see people just trying to get through these days. It's it's tough. It's tough to watch. But I mean, in terms of you and in terms of your missus, you're obviously incredibly high profile and you mm. would be on the road now. I mean, I'd be in India now commentating and being on, uh, on, a, on an airplane every day going from ground to yeah. ground. How nice is it yeah. though from, from a family's perspective to be able to spend good amount? I suppose I should ask your missus, I shouldn't be asking you this, <laughs> to be spending time with each other all day every day. <laughs> no, it's been wonderful. It's been, actually, it's, it's the longest we've spent together um, since we got married. Since we've been together, actually. So really? I know it's, it's not, yeah, it's not ideal. We've never been in one place for this long. Um, yeah. It's bizarre, but yeah, that's been the case. It's, it's not a good thing to, you know, sort of single out the situation as something that you've got an opportunity uh, to spend time with. But yeah. um, it is what it is. I mean, we are looking at the positives. We are being careful. You're being cautious. But at the same time, you have to appreciate family time. I was just going yeah, to say, yeah. uh, usually at this time, I'd probably be saying hello to you in Chinnaswamy or some of the other stadiums. Yeah, exactly. Not on Instagram exactly. Live. So, yeah, these are strange times. It is. And they say that in the UK, it could be, if the public don't behave themselves, it could be a June lockdown. I mean, that's stuck in your houses until June to get rid of um, uh, the peak wow. of what's happening at the moment. I mean, and, and you say, we have, at least we have space. A lot of people don't have space. So... Crack, yeah, I just yeah, hope yeah. people behave for three weeks, four weeks, try and just do whatever they can to get through it. And then, and then hopefully we get through the, through the rest of it. What are you missing most about not being able to be footloose and fancy free? Nothing. You're not missing anything? Nothing. Apart, from your, brother, apart from your barber. <laughs> my brother messaged me uh, two days back and he was like, I'm dying. Um, so in our place in Gurgaon, uh, near Delhi, we have a gym in the basement. He's never used the gym and now he's in the gym every day and, you know, he's understanding the importance of that gym. So he told me, I can't, I can't take it anymore. I need to go out. You know, I, I'm, I'm just getting stuck in the house and it's difficult. Uh, he's with family as well, but you know, people are just not used to being home. Yeah. And that's when I told him, welcome to our side of the world. Welcome to our life. This is our life every day. So absolutely, <laughs> we, we are in isolation every day. That's true. 
Jeez, especially especially yeah. you guys in in uh, in India. I mean, at least here we can get out, yeah. and I think you love touring England and Australia and stuff where you can go to the beaches. And but I mean, in India, it's 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 quite intense, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But you know, to be honest, we're just grateful that we are home. We're in one place. You know, with all mm. the travel restrictions now. Imagine if we were still on tour and stuck in some country, and yeah, it would have been very very difficult for everyone around. You know, just stuck in different parts of the world. and um i wanted to ask you what's what's been the mindset of people in the uk how are they dealing with the situation how are they looking at things and is there panic is there sort of like uh, there has been confusion? there has been a reasonable amount of panic i think people stockpiled for the first week or two um uh, a couple of weeks ago um mm-hmm. i mean i don't understand the situation at the moment we live on the on the flight path at heathrow and you can still see some airplanes in the air i saw uh one of the airlines grounded their fleet recently um yeah. british airways were talking about uh, letting go of 30,000 people on leave at the mo- and so I, i mean i don't i still don't understand how they haven't completely closed the borders here yet um when i came back from shooting that documentary a couple of weeks ago there was quite mm-hmm. a big outcry i flew in from where was i, I was in the where that was mumbai or delhi i flew in from somewhere and i walked mm-hmm. straight through the border no one's checking temperatures at least in india they were checking our temperatures before i even went into the um uh, the hotel in delhi we had our temperatures checked everything was being checked but it was very laxadaisical here and uh, apparently it's still the same way at the borders which is i mean it's it's crazy to think it's going on like that crazy and the numbers are just going whew, they skyrocket that, skyrocket that's strange to hear honestly our our response has been quite quite good uh, i mean Yeah. Apart from few people that you would have seen the videos who haven't really respected the guidelines being yeah. laid out, and I just don't understand how that happens. Because you know, if you're looking to if you're looking to address a larger issue, there's a thing of unity that mm. everyone should have, which unfortunately hasn't been the case with everyone. I think 80% of the people have taken it on board, but still, those 20% mm. can be a huge, huge issue uh, going forward. As you said, the spike is immense going into week three and four. So I just hope that yeah. people, you know, get get some sense into them and just. Stay Are you training? Are you training? You know, we actually got all our stuff um, put into a, a big a big car, and and we got our stuff uh, here. Everything mm-hmm. that because I, I I knew that you know if this goes on for longer, you still need to be able to train, and so I've got my lifting Olympic bar and plates, and there's a little garden to run around and. All right, so, Eman. Yeah. All right, Eman. <laughs> Me and Anushka have been training well. Yes. Mate, I've I've seen it. Don't call it an Olympic bar. You need to be calling it something because the last time I saw legs like yours, they were hanging outside the nest. Little <laughs> little pencil little pencil legs. <laughs> Here they are. You know, it, <laughs> little pencil legs. <laughs> it helps. It helps when you got big legs legs like yours and you still pop a calf muscle. I've never popped my calf in my life. <laughs> hey, remember, look at that. It, this, it looked like someone had shot me. <laughs> It was in Pune. I knew I was standing in slips, and I was like, "What the hell just happened to him?" <laughs> so no, no use of big legs if you can't run. I'm sorry. This is very, this is very true. And, and what I'm actually going to say now, leave it to just leave it, guys. Me and Virat are having a conversation here, and I know that uh, there's there's a lot of people who are very interested in this in this interview. We're just talking as friends. We're talking as buddies, and we're going to go back to 2009 now. We're going to talk about Bangalore, and we're going to have some fun. This is just Virat mm-hmm. and I having some fun. This is not for any journalist to take this on one way or another way and to create ridiculous headlines. So please, if you're going to do that, then it's obviously going to finish off any conversations between people who just want to give normal fans some content. So just please respect the conversation. Um, do it, RC. Okay, hold RC, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't what? worry about this big lecture because no one's heard you. <laughs> This is going to go off true. anyway so I tried. just carry on. Okay, I tried. I tried. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Listen, RCB. Yeah, go on. Mhm. Talk to me about um the bloke in the middle of the picture that I posted um this morning on Instagram. There was a guy that I posted in between that guy that's <laughs> perfect and pure and has the most amazing beard uh... compared to this guy in 2009. Well, I don't I don't recognize him anymore to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> I know you do. I know you do. Yeah, I know. I know. Good old days, but we had a lot of fun. We had amazing times together. I think uh, right from 
2008. Mm. You came in 2009, didn't you? Yeah, 2009 was I think yeah, that was my first season, yeah. Yeah, 9 and 10 you were with us. Mm. Mm. Yeah, 2009 is when we really sort of um got it going, we really hit off well from day one and yeah, there were good times. I mean, you obviously came in as the star player, like the big KP and you know this <laughs> All over South Africa, bro. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was fun. I remember all those days and playing with Jock and Dale and Mark Boucher as well. And we had um, Rulo. We had uh, Rahul, Rahul in our team. We had yeah. Um, Anil Kumble, Kumble in the team. Rahul Javed, Robin. Dale Stein. We had a, we had a gun team. Yeah. Manish came on board. Manish Pandey he got a century in that season. Remember, you got a century there at Centurion Park. Yep, yep. You what know who was the most... Do um, you remember you Jesse Ryder and uh, Rule of Pandem of... <laughs> I forgot about those two. Jeez. You we cannot forget about both of them, them in that season. They were the highlight of that whole season. How can you forget both of them? That's true. They were bad news, they were bad um, news together. Justice, that was for that Arulo fun him over. You gave him anything that looked like a bottle of wine, and he just turned it to somebody. It was oh my goodness. <laughs> it was. I mean, the yeah, that was funny. Done, I can't really talk about them. Every every single time, um, I get asked a question about you. I always refer to the questions, even though you were a bit of a. In yeah. two thousand and nine, you always sat next to the right players who you wanted to learn from the most. You had it. You had a very mm. inquisitive brain. When you were sitting next to the Callisters, the Kumblays, the Drab, you just wanted to learn, didn't you? you? Just wanted to be the best player. Yeah, I mean, it was it was pretty pretty obvious. I mean, for a youngster having all of these people around yourself when you came and you were at the peak of your career, and for me, it was just an opportunity to just absorb absorb as much as I can. If I wanted to go higher and higher, I just had to do it. So, yeah, it was a no brainer for me. There, there's different ways you can look at the IPL um, nowadays. There are a lot of youngsters who still ask those questions. Um, I'm not mm -hmm. sure of the other teams, but the people that we interact with, the guys in the Indian team, they ask those questions, which are, um, you know, the right questions. So, yeah, it's it's basically how you look at things. And I always want to just be the best version of myself. And learning from you guys was a no-brainer. Did you think that you would become as good as you become? Never. I was just talking to my coach the other day, two days ago. If someone told me 12 years ago, you'll have these numbers after 12 years, I would have told them to get lost. No well, chance. That's amazing, huh? I mean, just God's been kind. If, you're, if, you're, if your mind's in the right place, if mm. you're thinking about the right thing, you have the right kind of vision, mm. and to keep following regardless of all the noise around you, yeah. the results follow. If you yeah. look at the numbers and keep striving for the numbers, then the numbers go down, the career goes down, everything is lost. So what, are you, striving, what, what do you strive for now? Every time you come at... You come out and bat, whether it be for um, uh, RCB or for India. What like, are you just? You're just thinking. End game is to win, and how do I win this game? You're not thinking about anything. There's no other clutter. Not at all. Not at all. For me, the most important thing is how can I contribute to make my team win, because that is what we started playing cricket for. Mm. You know, we were really very really small. So yeah. I don't think why that intent should change, why that mindset should change. Mm. It hasn't honestly changed with me, you know. There's a lot of things that people try and create in India. They they try and, you know, cook things up, stir things up. I'm, yeah. You have experienced that a lot when you were playing as well. So, yeah, it's, it's basically, you just have to block the noise. And whenever I go to bat now, I know, I understand that cricket is a small part of our lives. And I need to be able to make the most of the opportunity that I have in front of me. Yeah. And I have a larger responsibility now, you know, to be able to maintain this culture of fitness of and taking the team in the right direction. And I mean, you just have to be grateful that you have this opportunity and you, know, you, yeah. you just need to make sure all your energy is in the right place to be able to do that. Where did your nickname Chiku come from? <laughs> Chiku actually came from, you know, MS has sort of uh, made my nickname famous from behind the stumps in the stump mics people pick up. They call me Chiku actually like I'm their neighbor or something like that in India. They'll shout out, oh, Chiku, once more, please. And I'm like, <laughs> I have a name. You don't know me, but you can't call me Chiku. <laughs> Jesus, so when this all finishes, you're going to walk down the street, Chiku! Yeah, I, I get called out uh, by the name of Chiku all the time. No one calls me Virat anymore. Either Kole or Chiku, that's it. 
It's amazing. Um, when I come to India and they all call me Peter. I'm saying, who the fuck's Peter? <laughs> Peter. 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 Who's <laughs> Peter? <laughs> <laughs> no i got i got this nickname um by uh, a coach we had in the state team actually the ranji trophy our first class teams and i used to have big uh, cheeks back then and i had in you, 2000 sorry, I, sorry, I remember, sorry 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 you used to have what big cheeks big cheeks cheeks yeah <laughs> thank you thanks for clarifying i just i didn't hear you correctly <laughs> <laughs> i had big cheeks <laughs> back then yeah. in 2007 i i thought i'm losing i'm losing hair my my hair's uh, shedding i'm having a massive hair fall so i got my hair cut really short like yours now i look like a clown and i have big ears so my my cheeks stood out and my ears stood out and um, so we used to have this comic uh, in india like a comic book when we were growing yeah. up called champak it was called champak yeah and there was a, there was a rabbit in that comic um yeah. that character's name was chiku so the coach called me chiku the rabbit because i had big ears so that's where the nickname came from and then people started taking it up and you know it, it went up to god knows where brilliant brilliant and mm. and tell me um rcb a lot of people since this thing went out I mean, i've had such a busy phone in the last 24 hours i mean it's crazy why and one of the one of the big things was they want to ask why have rcb not won a title yet i mean we get asked it all the time we have to try and explain it in the commentary box it's like oh my god jeez just stop asking the same question do you get sick of the yeah, same questions actually, look when you have um, when you have in in like history in the previous seasons as well when you've had the biggest players who played for rcb obviously there's going to be much more attention on the team now you see uh even with this team myself ab chris gale you know um, dale had played recently as well and you know yeah. all these great big players have played for rcb so we're always going to be more in focus but you know we actually spoke about it we've reached um, three finals we haven't mm. won either single one of them we've reached three semi finals but um, yeah those things are irrelevant <laughs> those things are irrelevant <laughs> as uh, you know till the time you don't uh, win that title so look we feel the same as everyone to be honest you know we we mm. keep talking about the team that we have we even when we had the best teams we've just not been able to do it but yeah that's that's one of our main goals we actually deserve to win a title to be honest because is um, that something that you are focused on now you um, we'll move on to indian cricket in a minute but is that is that something mm. that i mean you've achieved almost every single thing in the game your numbers are crazy is do you really want to win an ipl you know actually i've realized something that to go after something so badly it 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 keeps running away from you and i remember all the times when we've done well in rcb we've never thought of whether we're going to win the ipl or whether yeah. we're going to reach the semis or knockouts or anything like that but it's just that added pressure whenever we've played in the recent past we've just thought this is the season this is the season and you know it's just it's just blown us all over the place so i think we just need to get that joy back and at yeah. this stage of my life to be honest you know i i give everything that i have on the field how old are you now like i'm going to be 32 this year 32 yes sir jesus okay no, i wouldn't have guessed that <laughs> oh. okay get 38 yeah. 39 somewhere around there 32 31 i'm i'm idiot born so how old am i now <laughs> I don't I can't even count. I was shit at maths. <laughs> There's the headline tomorrow. Virat doesn't know how old he is. I'm 31. Hey, I'm if, 31 at the moment. If that's as bad as it gets, then we've done really well in this uh, in this session. Um I'm 31. 31. 31? Yeah. Okay. And we get on to Indian cricket and we talked about your transformation from 2009 to the person that you are now and and how fit you are and how um structured you are and how how much you train um was that something that you desperately wanted to bring to indian cricket i remember playing against india from we play, when my, my first time i played against india was 2006 we toured india after that 2005 ashes and there was tendulkar mm-hmm. laxman dravid kumble uh, harbhajan ajit agarka um zahir khan mm-hmm. ashish nehra all these guys were playing and i mean you'd hit it to extra cover and you'd run four Yes, no problem. You just run four. Whereas now, 
the team that you've got, you hit it to extra cover, you don't even think about running. Is that something that you've been so focused on and dedicated to bring into Indian cricket, that, that strive to make sure that in the field, we're the best? Look, uh, you know, it's, it's, I, I started playing in 2008. Um, I saw 2009, 10, 11 is when we won the World Cup. When you, um, when you played that shit shot and you, we drew the game in uh, Bangalore. Um, eleven nice. is when I got eleven is when I got you out stumped down the leg side without right. holding a leg. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Just talk about you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I saw two thousand nine, ten, eleven. Uh, these were my regular years with India, <laughs> and then and then twelve. Uh, that England tour when we uh, came to England twenty eleven. Yeah. We we lost badly there. Um, yeah, you did. Twenty twelve. Yeah, 2012 Australia tour was a difficult one as well. So I thought, you know, there's always a natural transition that happens in every team. And I was lucky that I was in, in the center of that transition when it was happening. And um, I got the opportunity to see both sides of things, like what we were lacking as a side and what the world was catching up on and they were becoming far more superior compared to us. So the plan was clear. I mean, you know, when the next lot of players come in, this is the direction we're going to go in and to be honest, I was I was lucky that you know I played with a group of players who were driven, similar age group, and together from number seven or eight in the world in Test cricket for three years now we've been number one. So it's it's been quite an astonishing journey. You know, it's, it's quite unbelievable to be honest because we had no experience and we beat everywhere everyone, most places. You know, we competed mm. everywhere we went in the world, and it's just that that to be able to come to the top of world cricket again has been a great journey. But then again, it gave us um, a vision, a goal to achieve, and all all our focus was towards that. And, and with the yeah. IPL, you see a lot of teams that come to India now, and they're a lot more competitive. I remember we came to India and actually beat yeah, India yeah, in yeah. 2011, True. 2012, and that's because True. a lot of us actually feel at home in India as foreigners. True. India have an issue traveling abroad. They have a real issue traveling abroad. What do you think the biggest issue for you guys is traveling abroad? I'm Look, talking now, results. Um, now, to be honest, you know, before when we used to tour, it used to happen sporadically. Like we would come to England every three or four years and in yeah. between there was nothing. But India, they would, you guys would come every year for the IPL and get used to the conditions and so on and so forth. But now with, when there's so much cricket happening, we don't feel any conditions are alien, to be honest. Now, right. I feel like now um, traveling uh, to other countries and playing at home is a level field. Anyone can beat anyone anywhere. Because we're yeah. playing each other so much in different conditions all the time. Australia, I remember we went to Australia for a whole tour. And then suddenly, three weeks after that, they were in India playing ODIs against us. Yeah. That would never happen before. So now it's not a, it's not a you know, question of whether we know the conditions or not. It's all about the mindset, the fatigue, whether you, you play too much cricket, whether you're ready mentally, physically or not. So I think those are the challenges now. Now we don't feel like any condition is sort of alien to us. And that, I think, is the most exciting part. Do you feel like you play too much? I remember in my career, I was having huge, huge arguments and disagreements with the ECB because of my schedule. And all I wanted mm. to, the ECB to manage was my schedule because I was playing every T20 game, every one day international, every uh, test match cricket. And I didn't want to miss out on the IPL, which is what guys yeah. don't miss out on now. Do you feel like you play too much cricket? Look, I've been taking breaks. Honestly, um, I felt like last two, three seasons I was doing too much. So I started yeah. being, uh, taking um, breaks every now and then, T20 matches here and there, uh, maybe a ODI series here and there, because I didn't want to miss any test cricket, to be honest. And um, T20 cricket, in between, I just felt like there were too many games that had no relevance. And um, mm. I'd spoken about it in the press as well, quite a few times, that you know you just can't have matches where you have zero... Um, sort of motivation or energy uh, and yeah. I don't like to play like that yeah but I've just thought about it I've been playing three formats for nine years now uh, including the IPL along with captaincy for six years so it's 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 not easy it's not easy no. but uh, no. I'll see I'll see I said two two three years more I think till the, the next World Cup I'm gonna give it all and then figure out where I stand which format what not, all those questions later. And, 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 and obviously, the, one of the biggest changes that you've made, and I know that, I mean, I campaign for um, wildlife all the time, and the thing that people hammer me the most about is eating meat. 
Now, you're vegetarian. You made that decision because, believe me, in 2009, 2010, when we hung out, you weren't a vegetarian. <laughs> you're now, no, no. You're now, you're I now wasn't a vegetarian. No, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't a vegetarian until 2018. When we actually came to England, um, I left eating meat just before the test series started. And wow. I'd, been think I'd been thinking about it. I'll tell you the real reason. I mean, people use different kinds of reasons and they try yeah. and figure out themselves. So in 2018, when we went to South Africa, I got um, a cervical spine issue um, while playing a test match. You got at what? Centurion. A cervical spine issue. One of the discs in my cervical spine, they bulged out and it compressed a nerve which was running straight till the little finger of my right hand. So it, give me, it gave me a, a tingling sensation. I could, I could barely feel my little finger on the right hand. Wow. I couldn't sleep at night. Yeah, it was hurting like mad. I couldn't sleep at night. And then I got my test done um, and my stomach was too acidic. So I was I, my body was creating too much uric acid. My body was too acidic. So wow. what was happening was, even though I was taking calcium, magnesium, everything, one tablet was not sufficient for my body to function properly. So my stomach started pulling calcium from my bones and my bones got weaker. And that's why I got this issue. So wow. That's why I stopped eating meat completely um, in the middle of the England tour to cut down that uric acid and the acidity in my body. And then I've never felt better in my life, to be honest. I felt amazing. It's, it's almost been two years now and it's the best decision I've taken in my life. Really? It's amazing. I mean, you look, you, you, yeah, you look amazing. And I, I mean, I've tried that now. So uh, I've seen all this and I watched that film, that uh, Game Changers or whatever, that film. Yeah, I think yeah. you were part of that film. And um, I mean, I, I have vegetarian days. Jess and I have vegetarian days at home. And you do feel so light. You feel amazing, don't you? Yeah, amazing. I mean, I've never felt better uh, waking up. I mean, yeah. I felt better when I have to recover after a game. I mean, if you make me play three games a week, which are intense, I'm at it 120% every game. I can, I can recover within a day after a test match and go on another test match. It's, it's so much better than being on meat. Uh, being vegetarian now made me feel... Honestly, I felt like, why didn't I do it before? You know, I should have done it two, yeah. three years earlier, yeah. to be honest. It's completely changed everything. You start feeling better. You start thinking better. Your body's lighter. You're more positive, you have more energy to do more. So, yes, overall, it's just been an amazing, amazing change. Are you guys doing it as well? Thank goodness I don't have to play three games a week because there's no way in this world a South African can go without meat, dude. I do it for maybe <laughs> one day, one day or two days a week. If I'm feeling really generous, I'll give it two days. But there's no way, I just can't do it. I mean, I've got a beautiful barbecue out here. We, oh, I, I mean, I just, I, as much as I would love to, as much as you're trying to sell, sell a great story, Mm -mm. It just, uh, it, it just, I mean, I, and, and, and I do feel great. And that movie, mate, that, that Game Changers film that I watched, it, it really does paint a really good picture. But I just couldn't do it, mate. Couldn't do it. No way. Yeah. It's, it's, but, I mean, but you, talk, you talk about that, um, that, uh, that ability to be able to turn on every single day. I was running on a treadmill in, uh, in, Jeez, I don't know where it was. And uh, MS came and j jumped on the treadmill next to me. And mm -hmm. first of all, to see MS in the gym at that stage, I was like, oh, Jesus, what are you doing in here? Um, <laughs> and, and, and we started talking about you and started talking about your leadership. It was at the time that he was just starting to finish in that. And he said, mm -hmm. um, one of the things that he said that would interest him would be whether or not you would be able to... Um, maintain that uh, energy on the field, that excitement on the field, that aggressive mm. leadership on the field. And I said mm. to him, I said, Jesus, I said, surely you cannot love cricket that much that you want to just start swinging punches every time you walk out onto the field. <laughs> and, you've, and you've done it. How, is, why is it because of your diet or is it because of what's in, your, in between your ears? <laughs> Not that there's much there. What, what is it? Yeah, there's a bit of crazy up here as well. I, I wouldn't deny I, it. I know. But <laughs> Look, as I said, I mean, you, I know, I know. And you can ask MS that as well. When I played under MS, I was in his ears every over. Maybe we can do this. Maybe we can do that. If, you know, there was a time where you had to field on the boundary, I would run from long on to long on. I wanted to be in the right place at the right time. Even now, even if I'm captain or not, I don't think standing on the field, I need to behave myself because I'm captain. 
I need to be able to enjoy the game first and think about yeah. strategy and all that later because that is who I am. So I cannot play any other way. I will give yeah. 120% every ball. And yeah. I made a promise to myself, the day I stop feeling like I can do it, I'll stop playing. Really? I want to be able to play till the time I play the way I play right now. Oh, with the same intensity. So, 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 we, so, so we're going to have to keep talking over the next few years about how you want to jump in a, in a, in a UFC ring every time you hop on a, on a cricket field. <laughs> I yeah, just like to get it going. <laughs> I was going to swear a little bit, but I'll stop. That's what my, my teammates and bowlers say as well. They say, you celebrate more than us when we take a wicket. I mean, I said, I can't thing. control myself. It's a, yeah, good it's a good thing. It's a good thing, yeah. I spoke you to Rogan last yourself. week. I spoke to Rogan yeah. last week and we were talking about sledging uh -huh. and we are talking about um, aggression on the field. And he said, well, we do have a fairly aggressive leader. <laughs> and I just started <laughs> pissing myself. I was like, <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Just very. <laughs> I mean, that helps. That helps. <laughs> huh? Yeah, that surely helps. That surely helps. Anyone who's feeling a bit whether I should say something or not, they just need to look at me and say, no problems. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but clearly you love the dudes off the field and uh, you just get into mm -hmm. that. It's called white line fever, isn't it? Where you get over that white line. And I know there's yep. millions of people who are going to watch this and are, are, are seeing this. You just have the white line fever where you will just do anything within the rules to win the game for India. It's simple. Yep, yep, absolutely. And you know, it's, look, I, you know, I've known you. I've known you. I've known you for a lot of years now. And, you know, people say, I've experienced something very strongly. When people don't know you, they have a, a very, very different picture of you that they paint in their heads. Mm. And I have no problems in people thinking that the person might be like this. But when you don't know the person, when you haven't interacted with the person, for someone to say that the, the guy is like that, I yeah. don't agree with that. Because yeah. you can't create a reality for someone else in your own head and then treat them accordingly. Okay. I never do that. I would, yeah. I would, I would meet people. I would, I would get to know you, even though I see your body language on the field and I feel like, oh, that 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 doesn't seem really nice. But if you meet me outside the field and we got mm. along, yeah. I got along with Pouch. You know, there was there were different views about bouts as well. I got along with him amazingly well, with you as well. So it's about accepting people the way they are. And I think that's important. You yeah, step yeah. off the field and you accept people as just human beings. When your competitive spirit comes out, there's no problem in being being competitive, being aggressive. You've had duels on the field. It never gets mm. to, you know, physically punching someone in the face. I mean, it would never get to that. It's, it's basically just, yeah, maybe with you it could have a few times. <laughs> But not with me. Not with me. I'm too small. I can't take on the big guys physically. <laughs> that helps. Does it? Does it? Um, does the IPL and the friendships that you created in the IPL make it a little bit more difficult to when you're playing against Australia to give a volley to a teammate in another opposition, or does it not matter when you play for India? You're playing for India, and I don't care if you play for RCB with me, without me, whatever it is. I'm going to beat you, and that's it. Um. Look, IPL has definitely made things much better when it comes to respecting people, especially when you get to know someone, you know, you, you, yeah. you don't feel internally. I mean, I played against AB. Never in my dreams will I think of sledging AB. It just won't come to me naturally. Yeah. I would just say, okay, if opportunity comes to me, I'm trying to take that opportunity with both my hands any day of the week. I want to get him out, but I won't get yeah. into his face in a way that you know, it can spoil our friendship, our, our relationship. Because you exactly. understand at the end of the day, those things last you longer in life. So whoever you get to know, obviously, it's, it's a mutual respect. Both ways, the line is not crossed. Mm. But otherwise, you know, we're always looking for something yeah. spicy to get into the zone eventually because you want to be at your best. And if that, that's what gets you, why not? What's been your most fun innings? I'm not going to ask you what's been your best innings. What's been your most fun mm -hmm. innings? Because I actually got asked this in an interview a couple of months ago. I was doing something and I said, what's been your most fun innings? And, and mm -hmm. I was like, shit, I've never been asked this before. It's always, what's your best innings? What had the most impact? What's been, your, what's been the most fun? The, the one where you just got, that was so much fun. It's just like, Jesus, I just got there and I just went bang, 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 bang. Do you have any? Uh... Yeah, it's a I tough question, isn't it? Yeah, I do have one. Um, it was against uh, Kings Eleven in the IPL. Um, it was, I think, a 
a 14 over game or 15 over game and i got 112 overs i remember and yeah so that was one of the days where i felt like jeez i'm just just you know connecting everything and you just felt like you couldn't get out and i've never felt like that before just to be able to hit every ball and not yeah. have that fear of getting out it was amazing so that has been my most fun innings what about you and talking about uh, uh, my it was such tell a long time ago huh? do you remember no sure you don't remember any of your innings after i got i got you out stuff <laughs> <laughs> you know i was going to talk about Let's your bowling there but 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 the one before i get to your uh, your your beautiful length that you used to bowl and that very 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 um traditional um uh, action excellent mm. what you talk about fear and there'll be a lot of youngsters watching this and people say mm. oh play without fear don't worry about the mm. consequences for youngsters watching this in your mm. position walking out to bat now you're lucky you've you've made it in the game you the best that are, that's playing at the moment your numbers are fantastic at the start of your career or in the middle of your career even now what's been your lowest the lowest you've been what what's the lowest you've been in your career i think the lowest point in my career was england tour in 2014 where that's that's one phase where i felt like you know when as a batsman you know you're going to get out in the morning when you wake up that was the time i felt like that that there's Shit. no chance i'm going to run really and yeah to be able to, and still to get out of bed and you know just get dressed for the game and to go out there to to go through that knowing that you will fail was yeah. something that just just ate me up it just demolished me completely and i told i promised myself i'm never going to allow myself to feel like that ever again in life but that was the lowest point where i and that happened for all the younger guys listening to think right in the game that happened because i was too focused on doing well from a personal point of view i wow. wanted to get run i could never yeah. think of what does the team want me to do in this situation i just got too engulfed with england tour if i perform here you know test cricket in my mind i'm going to feel established and all that all that crap on the outside which yeah. is not important at all it just ate me up it just i just kept going into a into a downward spiral and i just couldn't get out of it Horrible. um and, and technique wise did you did, is it all about is it all about just making sure that you prepare well i talk about training well making sure that the day before you don't leave any stone unturned so that whatever happens in in the bright lights just happens but you got to be able to practice well is that right Yeah that's true but you know when you're playing so many games now and me and Abi have spoken about this quite a bit we don't come to every session and we don't bat for long periods anymore so if i have two sessions of batting and I, and i go to the first one and the first one's precise i would take the next day off relax make sure i'm physically right and good to go 120% i would not go to the ground just for the sake of it if i'm not getting anything out of that practice session i will not go to the stadium anymore so that's obviously a gradual change but at the start of my career i wanted to learn i wanted to see as much as much as i could i wanted to observe other people and that was a different kind of preparation back then but mm. now it's become sort of different and i think technique also it's it's everything's men- mental i mean you you've played in a time where you were walking and hitting fast bowlers coaches don't teach you that so it's yeah. it's it's innovation it's staying ahead of the opponent it's thinking one step ahead of the opponent and these things if you are aware if you're thinking about how to win the game for your team these things come to you if you're too personal uh, in your approach you're too self-centered you're thinking only about yourself then you're just looking for ways to get out eventually because people are going to find you out you're not getting out of your comfort mm. zone because you don't want to fail so this is this is this is a, a gradual sort of transition that happens over the years but as a youngster you know i was at every practice session i was in there i just yeah. wanted to be watching people observing asking questions asking questions i think conversations are the most important thing for any cricketer yeah you say you used to run it run it better than they don't coach that they also don't catch coach the switch hit something that you can't do so um at least there's something i can do that you can't do yeah i know and something that you will never be able to do and i did which was to get you out <laughs> that's my, that's, that's hey! where we need to go now i just want to tell every single person watching this that I, I mean, I would love to show you our WhatsApps. He's mentioned about seventy-five thousand times in the last three or four days since we just, since we said we'd do this interview. When can I talk about how I got you out? When can I? And I, I can't remember. You can't remember? 
I don't know exactly. I think it was Southampton T20 if I'm not wrong. You stumped I'm down the leg sure side. <laughs> it was your famous one leg flick where you took your they took your back leg off the crease and MS got you stumped. And by the way, I'm the only bowler in cricket history. Know this. I'm the only bowler in the history of cricket to get a wicket in international cricket without bowling a legitimate delivery and you were the batsman. I got Seriously? you stumped on a wide ball. It was zero balls, one wide, one wicket. <laughs> no one's done that. No one. <laughs> wow, thank is, you so much. The thing is, there's method in my madness, mate. I just wanted to be able to produce something for you that was something we could talk about all if in, in the future years. When you join us in the commentary box, it'll be something we talk about that we show. I mean, it's, it's, it's friendship. You know, I saw you. I saw you walking home. And you played with me two years. And you wouldn't even look at me. I was celebrating. You were so embarrassed. You just looked down and you walked away. <laughs> and I laughed so hard after that game. I was like, bloody hell, you didn't want to look at me because I would have laughed in your face. <laughs> oh, wow. I think I might have broken a bat there, actually, because I just thought, Jesus, I can just see this coming. Forever, he's going to abuse me. Forever. And it's still happening. And that was, what, nine, ten, nine years ago. Prick. <laughs> The thing is, as well, it's it's MS too. So I, I mean, we were having some fun with commentary uh, with MS ah, uh, yes. a few years ago, and Jesus, he never got me out. So there's a lot of people who'll be watching this too that always say, "Oh, you're MS Dhoni's first Test wicket." I referred, oh. I refer, I know, remember, I, know. I, re I referred yeah. it, and it was not out. Remember? Yeah, yeah. And they were, "I'm your first Test wicket. I'm your first." He even fucking said it on commentary when I was uh, when I was yeah, but my Gago went look, the thing is. The thing is, MS has a point because it came up on and the out. stump mics, but nothing came up on the hotspot. So he has a point. Bullshit. You, no, don't mm. you start backing him. Yours was out. <laughs> you got me out. He never got Mine me out. Mine was legitimate. You can never yes. question that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you didn't even look to go back. You just walked off. No, I was, I was never getting out to MS. To you, I don't mind. But yeah, at least that action, I could at least sort of talk about. Well, I, I mean, I didn't really pick it up. It came at an angle. It came at that kind of angle. MS had a bit of a conventional thing. So I was like, I cannot get out to that. That is filth. Who's the fast bowling. Who's the best? Who's your favorite batting partner? Before we'll finish off with fans on social media now. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite batting partner? Favorite batting partner? Um, two people that I've enjoyed the most batting with. Um, I love guys who can run really well and who understand um, understand my calling and you know intend to run. So I think MS, when playing for India, we've run the best together. And AB otherwise, I mean AB and me are like yeah. we don't even need to say anything. It's just the partnership flows. We don't talk cricket as well in yeah. between, and it's just it's just amazing. Yeah. 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 Um, brother, let's just. I've got a load of stuff here that I just want to go over. Just yeah. fans, social media, and and, and I mean, mm -hmm. I, I suppose we play to entertain. We play yeah. for the fans. Um, we're sitting in a situation at the moment where we're having to entertain on Instagram Live because you can't go and slap bowlers all over um, the Chennaswamy Stadium because of what's happening in the world. But how important are fans to you? How important? I mean, I just did a little thing here now. Social media. I looked on Instagram now. Ronaldo, 210 million followers. Messi, 146 million followers. You've got 53 million followers. You've got Federer at 7 million. Hamilton at 15 million. Tom Brady at 7 million. McElroy at 2 million. Mm -hmm. Bolt at 9 million. Mm -hmm. Does that come with responsibility? It does. It does. Um, you know, honestly, I, I see a lot of... Um, backing and love from genuine fans um, on social media. Now, the good thing about social media now is that they're able to show you that support and that love um, in times that other people are not really willing to. So I think I felt this over the years that, you know, the number of people that like you and that appreciate what you do, their intent, their energy, it really motivates you and it, it pushes you in the right direction, to be honest, because without their contribution without their energy and them wishing well for you, you wouldn't be able to do what you're doing on a daily basis. There's no chance to be mm. able to get this motivation every day. You walk into a stadium, people are just shouting your name, 30, 40,000 of them. You just get into a zone. There's no mm. denying that. So 
I mean, these are things that you can't replicate anywhere else. And I absolutely have total respect for that. You know, fans that genuinely love the game, genuinely love what you do, and they respect good and bad equally, I hats off to them, honestly. Big respect. I tell you something, um, you talk about the fans going crazy. I mean, when you walk on the field anywhere in India or wherever, I mean, it's it's chaos. And I remember playing with Tendulkar, with um, mm. uh, Sevag, with UV mm. and, and, and MS, and it being exactly the same way. It, it, one thing I will tell you is that when that happens now, and you say you get into the zone, just appreciate it. Because if I think there's one thing that I miss. Yeah. I remember playing all those days and you walk onto the field. I remember just playing at the Ferocia Kotler for, for Delhi and ha having that one bumper season. And for the rest of the time, it was just like every time I walked out, okay, okay. Like you've got to just, you, you really have got to just, you've got to, you, you've almost got to just bottle it up and just remember it because, dude, those are the best days of your life when people are going crazy dude. like that. Absolutely. I totally agree with you. I think these are things that one needs to appreciate. We are a bunch of uh, the lucky few that get to experience this. Yeah. Even today with, you know, you speak about difficult times now and you understand that the kind of place you are in right now, you, you said you have space to move around, you have a garden, you have a pool. Mm. I see the current situation where people don't have jobs, you know, they're yeah. struggling on a daily basis. Yeah. You, you can't have any other feeling than to be grateful. Just have, lo you know, the most amount of gratitude you can because God has put us in a place where we don't have to go through those, those moments. And if in this place as well, we sit down and complain about things, I don't think that that's fair. So, mm. you know, it's just looking at what's happening all over the world. It just makes you feel, you know, where was I really heading? Which direction does my life really want to go in and I think this this time will really make us all reflect on it so yeah this is this is indeed a blessing that we have I'm going to finish off now we're going to finish off just with some fans questions I went through a load of them there's about five mm -hmm. or six here and then I just want one other one other thing and then you're done and dusted you can go back to uh, sweeping the floor and mopping and, and mopping your bathroom <laughs> R <laughs> Ronaldo or Messi Ronaldo why Work ethic, uh, drive, passion, um, all the crap, noise on the outside, deflect it, move ahead, know what you need to do and just get done. Will you shave your beard off? No, never. Why? Chiku! Chiku! No, I, I, don't have, I don't have cheeks anymore, but Chiku. you know I look, I look horrible without a beard, so I would, I would never, never have shaved it off. <laughs> um, favorite destination to go with your missus? No cricket. Favorite destination? Uh, no cricket. Uh, Queenstown. We went last the year before. We went to New Zealand. Oh, last year, 2019. Queenstown, hands down, number one. And then wildlife safari in South Africa. We need to come to your lodge next. Yeah. Well, let's hope we let's hope we get some time. It's crazy there. Right? I mean, it's a so maybe that mm -hmm. whole tra uh, tourism industry, the whole travel industry, I mean, there in Kaziranga, where I was a couple of weeks ago, that's completely shut down for tourism. Mm -hmm. And then South Africa is completely shut for tourism. And goodness, mm -hmm. I mean, so many of my mates there now, I mean, we've had to close our lodge. We've had to, I mean, we're looking after our staff yeah. and making sure that they've got 100% pay because they are just amazing. But geez, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a sad situation. But you'll do that. I'll, you guys will get out there for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. Favorite cricketing memory? Actually, coincidentally, you've just called me on the day that we won the World Cup. So that has to be the favorite cricketing memory for me. Was just that what, 2011? Yeah, today. Really? Okay. What a day to call, KB! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. And, and, yeah. and, I'll, and I'll, I'll only like this one if you answer it the right way. Now, be very careful how you answer this, because this could mm -hmm. end badly for you. Your favorite commentator? My favorite commentator is, it's easy. <laughs> uh, my favorite, com no, it's not you. Come on. My fa me? favorite commentator is. Nasser. Okay, me. That's perfect. Too long to answer Nasser. the question. Thank you, me. That's fine. Perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go on. Digger? Digger. 
ठीक है ठीक है गुण ठीक है ठीक है um and then i'm going to say there's two more things now tell me about that you told me about this the other day that i'm very interested because i've never known anything about it your foundation that looks after all the um uh, non cricketing athletes what's that all about yeah um set up the foundation in 2013 uh, got it registered in 2016 then we started collecting funds we started doing um events dinners charity fu- charity functions uh fundraisers a uh, few options here and there and then eventually we started giving out these scholarships so we understood the challenges so in in india and in cricket we have decent facilities to be able to make a career out of you know playing cricket and you have enough academies and places to practice but other sports there are not many places that you can go and have quality practice quality facilities so we wanted to identify uh, for sport in general in the country who are these people and we have a, a panel of uh, you know elite sports people who have played for the country represented in different sports over the years so they select people they they track their progress young kids 14 15 16 who have potential to eventually go on and become world class athletes maybe olympic medal winners or or something like that as well so wow. we take care of their progress we provide nutrition we have a few types wow. with hospitals uh nutrition companies we provide coaches to them as well we provide counseling as well through these experts that i mentioned so yeah we track their progress and uh, you know one all over one india sorry all over india all over india yeah all sports wow. so we obviously track their performance anyone who's who's doing really well and we feel like they don't have the right kind of facilities we just pull them out bring them into the program and just give them a scholarship where we say we're going to take care of you we're going to send you to tournaments take care of your travel nutrition you don't need to worry about anything so we just give them an opportunity a platform and a chance amazing well done mate well done the last i thought i actually thought there was one more thing but there's there's one other thing um golf am i going to get you into the game of golf never never why what's wrong with you because you haven't played golf with me i played golf with um, boucher callis uh dale in 2008 we went to a golf course in bangalore and i just couldn't keep my legs in place i just kept hitting everything over covers because i would clear my leg and slog it like we do in cricket and they said you got to fetch the ball and play it again i was like no way i'm playing this sport again <laughs> they bloody sent me into the bushes three times i was like thank you <laughs> take your golf club i'm going in yo 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 mrs has just put a message up there chalo 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 dinner time so i'm going to ask you one more question um <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, um beautiful the the last one and i think probably the mm-hmm. most important your favorite form of the game and why test cricket test cricket test cricket test cricket test cricket <laughs> five times amazing amazing why buddy yeah. why because test cricket for me is actually it's a representation of life to be honest you got to you got to keep going when you don't score runs you got to clap for everyone else when you haven't scored a run you got to give everything that you have you got to go back into your room have that same routine wake up every morning come out to play whether you've done well or not and in life you have to do the same you just don't have an option of not competing or not participating so for me test cricket is life and i've learned the most playing test cricket it's made me a better person amazing and you know what i said that the other day when um, they said that they wanted four day test matches and you came out very strongly and you said no i'm not interested in four day test matches i only want a five day test matches they try to get me to do something quite lengthy in one of in a debate show and i said guys the facts of the matter are that virat doesn't want five day four day test matches so four day test matches ain't happening and on that note <laughs> go and enjoy your vegetables <laughs> have a banana <laughs> I love you brother. <laughs> cheers KP, thanks. Good to see you. Bye buddy. Bye mate. Bye bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Guy. Where is the big? There you are. How are you mate? How how are you doing KP? I'm good. You okay? Yeah, uh, doing okay now. As of now all good. So tell me I was uh, I was messaging you this morning. I couldn't get hold of you for an hour and a half. You you sent me a message. You said um I'm doing the housework. When last did you do housework? I don't remember when was the last time I did uh, did any of that. I went, I mean, I went cleaning all my house. You can see, uh, you know, we were playing a little bit of cricket uh, with my daughter. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, cleaning the house is not easy, man. It took two hours for me <laughs> because I saw your message. Uh, it was around 
noon and i replied you back around 2:30 i know but yeah it took me two and a half hours to clean the house what were you doing were you doing the i mean i've been doing the hoovering i've been doing the uh, i mean i do the dishwasher about seven times a day packing it unpacking it now i've got two kids and they're just running an absolute mock in the house what what have what have you I been was, doing um, i was doing a bit of my laundry yeah i was cleaning the, i was mopping my whole flooring <laughs> cleaning the glass windows these windows <laughs> as you can see how clean it is right now <laughs> and cleaning this whole area so my daughter can play here crazy so, yeah what is the what outside space have you got sorry what outside space have you got this is this is what i have this is the balcony i have and there's one little outside there's one little space we are not so lucky as you where you have your back garden and everything yeah so, no 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 we, we're we very, very, very we are very lucky as you can see i'm literally i'm on 29th floor here so, so let's have a look goodness me right in the middle of mumbai huh yes the city has come to stand still i cannot hear anything goodness and is that a net because you're practicing your cricket strokes or you don't want the balls to fly over the balcony yes you're right the pigeons <laughs> the pigeons they come inside man <laughs> they come inside and they poop everywhere and i have to clean that as well so i've just made sure there is net covering here so that they don't they don't come inside who's doing the who's doing the cooking in the house who's doing um, all the all the other really? day to day jobs we've we've got uh, we've got someone to do the cooking and my wife is a very good cook uh she does a bit of cooking as well uh but yeah i mean we've been on a very uh uh on a easy streak we're not eating anything fancy uh, mm. keeping it very simple and real what uh i i trying to remember all my old days what we used to do during our old days cleaning the house uh making sure uh everything is in the house yeah uh, and then uh yeah a lot of things actually you know i i i now look back at it and i think uh how our life was hectic i mm. mean all these years uh, mm. you know we've been on the road all the time going yep. from one place to another but now i realize it's so important to spend some time with your family as well and understand uh what goes inside your house yeah you know it's important and now i've got the reality check about you know uh, how important it is to spend time with your loved ones because you know they want us to to be with them yeah uh, it's not easy and i've got a very young kid uh, so kind of what are you missing what are you missing most about um about not being out and about definitely playing playing the game that is something that i'm missing a lot and i was injured for last two and a half months so i've been itching to go out and when i got the news that uh, everything is going to be pros postponed i was i was little sad i was quite looking forward to go and play the ipl yeah. uh, but yeah again i mean regardless of all that i mean the the safety of the nation the whole world yeah. right now is important and i can see that you know there's been a lot of discipline in the country uh, mm. watching watching a lot of news as well these days to keep up with the world to see what is happening in india i think you know uh, it's been two days of a lockdown and it's pretty disciplined at the moment except people going for their emergency stuff like buying groceries you know medical uh, services and all that and so far yeah, i mean it's it's crazy here as well man i mean I, i went on a bike ride the other day and you just don't see anybody around there's just nothing you're not allowed to do anything here there's it's it's complete lockdown and it's, i suppose exactly what you i saw a, a, a picture or a, a message from your wife on instagram there's dolphins in the bay in mumbai is that right yes yes no man yes, for real it was taken from uh, the, that video was taken from an apartment right in front of marine drive which is which is what the first thing i checked whether it's a fake video or it's the real yeah. one it is the real one it's right i mean probably 50 50 or 70 meters from the shore crazy and i mean I, I, that's unheard of right yeah it is i mean i i don't i don't know when was the last time we heard of dolphins or any uh, any of animal uh, any of uh, sea creatures coming to the shore of mumbai It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I've seen some pictures actually in Italy, Venice, where the where they've okay. seen uh, the before and after pictures. It's crazy how the uh, make maybe nature's just resetting itself here. Yeah, I mean, see, uh, in hindsight, in hindsight, if you look at the other side, I mean, 
we we get to know what we've done to the earth yeah and now it's kind of a in a healing process mm. it's cooling down because i've never seen blue skies in mumbai and i can see that right now i mean yeah. look at that i'll show you see my goodness that's unbelievable exactly so jesus uh i mean yeah and the pollution and everything has gone down massively but mm. again, i mean i don't want to disrespect what is happening uh, in the world right now uh, without any disrespect uh, i know what we are going through mm. people are losing lives uh, people are battling through this tough period which is not easy which is not mm. an easy fight um so i mean i made i made a video the other day as well thank thanking uh, you know the doctors the nurses and everybody sure. you know sure. from, from the ward boy as well uh, yeah Uh, you know they're doing a uh, incredible job to making in making sure that you know we all are safe and we mm. can just be at our home uh, mm. you know worrying about our family they they've been worrying about the entire nation because yeah. you, you yeah. see so many cases coming up uh, through the day and things like that yeah so anyway i i mean i was i was meant to be traveling as well in the next couple of days to india because it's obviously rpl season correct um What were your expectations for the Mumbai Indians uh this year what were you expecting from them and uh captaincy are you enjoying the captaincy have you enjoyed the captaincy is it something that you're really looking forward to again Yeah yeah I I I love I love captaining uh Mumbai Indians uh we've got a great a great bunch of uh squad mm. everybody who's been part of the team uh you know uh, all these years in some way or the other they put their hand up at different situation which makes my job easier or i can say i look better as a captain yeah when, when you also know you've been a captain yourself uh, when your players put their hand up yeah it makes your job so easy yeah so, i suppose yeah, you're running you're forward to we got few new addition to the squad uh, you know we got chris lin uh, trent bolt uh, you know Nathan Coulton Nile and few others as well so i was quite excited i was, I was going to ask you who who's been your best buy who would your best buy have been for this season coming up who do you think i mean you can chuck those names around there coulton nile's a good one chris lin when bolt as well i mean with the bolt. new ball on, on on a pitch like wankhede uh swinging the ball into the right hander taking mm-hmm. the ball away from the left hander i was quite looking forward to that because i know how much the ball swings uh in the first few overs at wankhede and and there is a bit of extra bounce from uh the other grounds if you compare it so mm. you know along with bumra uh it, mm. he would have made a lethal combination so i was quite looking forward to that i'm still looking forward it forward to that i mean fingers fingers crossed do you think it's going to happen do you think the ipl would happen at some stage this year at some stage yeah if things settle down and things get yeah. a little easier uh it might happen i mean who knows yeah And then right coaching now, who's just, coaching who's coaching you again this year? Mahila. Mahila still the coach? Yeah. Who's yeah, been your favorite who, who's been your favorite coach um over the years in your whole career? Who's been your favorite coach? Indian coach, Mumbai difficult, Indians. Very difficult to pick one name because they sure. all bring something or the other to the table. Uh like sure. I, I I mean Ricky Ponting to me was was a magic, you know. Yeah. Uh the way he handled the team uh uh when he was captain for the first half of the tournament and then he gave the captaincy to me yeah in the, in the midway through the tournament yeah uh, and it takes it takes a lot of guts to uh, do that in the middle yeah. of the tournament to leave the captaincy and get someone else to do it yeah you know uh, i can only imagine him doing that and you know after that as well to be uh, as involved as he uh, was as, as as he was as a captain Or yeah then as a as a i mean i would rather say a support staff because he was playing a supporting role to all the players to all the youngsters in the team and he was guiding me through the captaincy and yeah i got to learn a lot uh, from him so he was a different uh, 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 ball game altogether mahela is very calm he's very composed and mm. he 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 only tells you to do things uh, that he sees is probably right or wrong i mean he'll he'll draw a line very quickly and say do not you know as a team we shouldn't be crossing yeah. that line yeah yeah so his messages are very clear and you know his uh uh i i think 
I, I think all players are very, very lucky to be able to tap into the overseas um, brains. And, and I also think that from the overseas perspective, I'll speak from my perspective as a player coming to India, when yeah. you can understand that you can, you can have a home ground in India, you can gra gain a lot of support in India, it makes you feel more comfortable. Have you found it harder as an Indian player to play against foreigners uh, over the last five or six years with the foreigners being so comfortable in India? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's actually go, goes both ways because yeah. uh, all our local players, including us, we've, we've uh, benefited playing alongside them uh, to, to know how they think about the game, how they want to prepare, uh, how they prepare against certain individual. And it's the same uh, for them as well. Rubbing shoulders uh, with each other uh, in terms of nationality, you know. Hey, Rowit, it does, Rowit, Rowit, it does. Rowit, Rowit, Rowit. De Villiers has just come on and said he likes the pictures in my background. He says, you need to show a little bit more there. He said, you, you, you're not showing enough. Mr. De Villiers is on you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get him on the line as well. I mean, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do De Villiers. I don't know how we can get De Villiers onto this. I'm gonna do De Villiers. No, he's gonna. <laughs> it's gonna happen. You see, ABD is here. Yes, De Villiers is here. Um, we definitely. There he is. Look at him. <laughs> um, but no, you're right. You are right. From a, from an overseas perspective and an Indian perspective, it's it's definitely um, it's it's a hundred percent improved the game too. Yeah, it's 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 been. Uh, learning curve for both both nationality, uh, the Indian and the foreign nationals. I mean, they they, they pick up so much, and eventually, uh, you know, uh, you realize that at the end of the tournament, it's sad when the tournament comes to an end. Yeah. Uh, when you see all the players booking their tickets to go back to their country. Yeah. And to know that you won't be playing with them anymore, it's it's a bit of. Uh, I mean, it's sad. But again, what about you know, what about um, sledging? And I mean, I know that um, India. Uh, historically isn't a country where you go to and you get sledged. I mean, you guys don't need to sledge there. The wicked sledge us enough. They spin <laughs> and bounce and turn and do what they need to do. But it's, I found it also became increasingly hard to become so friendly with people and then go and play in an Ashes series and start abusing guys who you spend so many months of the year with uh, um, playing together. It's, it's, it's changed the game from that perspective as well, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah it has a lot. I mean, traditionally, if you, I mean, you know, uh, the team, Indian team, much better than anyone else. I mean, we don't, we don't usually go on to uh, sledge or be in people's face while we are playing. I mean, right now we've started a little bit uh, because we have got a very aggressive captain. <laughs> yeah. So, so we do that a little bit, but again, I mean, it's 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 fun. It's it's just a banter. It's nothing personal. Everyone knows that, and I hope everyone knows that. It's not. It's nothing personal. It's just, you know, just of to course. bring a bit of a laughter in the game, and you know, try and keep the environment a little relaxed. You know what I mean? Of course, of course. No, yeah. no, I, I mean, I get. I completely get it, and uh, it it's definitely changed the dynamic. I I found it harder actually playing against those guys because. Um, you want to you you want to make sure that after the game they can't send you a message or speak to you and say I've got you in my pocket I knocked you over or we beat you you want to you want to always hold hold the upper hand against your mates. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you want you want that competitiveness as well uh, when when you are in when you are in the battle with the opposition. Uh, you want that competitiveness to be yeah. there as well. At the same time, uh, you know, one should know that. We can't cross lines. Yeah, for sure. We have to be within within the rules of the game, and then yeah, everything is fine. Uh, you know, it's, who's it's, the be who's the best player you've played with? Indian, Mumbai Indians. Who's the best player you've played with? Who would you rank? You would say, you know what? I've learned so much from that dude. He's just great. I mean, I grew up watching Tendulkar. Uh, yeah, Tendulkar was somebody I grew up watching. Um, I, I learned uh, so many things by reading his book, actually, which inspired me to play at the highest level, which yeah. was right at the beginning of uh, when I started playing cricket. Yeah. Uh, uh, the book, uh, the name of the book is The Making of a Cricketer. Yeah. And in that book, his journey is mentioned how through, the, through all the hardships he's gone through mm. and uh, never... Ever, it's been so easy for him to be where he is right now. 
yeah most important thing which which i learned from him is being humble in whatever you do yeah and being disciplined at the same time as well i mean after achieving so much you just try to you know you you tend to slip away a little bit but i've never seen that from him so that is something that i try and bring into my uh journey and my routine as well like you know there is there is uh sky is the limit there is no end to anything what, what what's what's been your lowest point in your career what's been the lowest point you just got oh my goodness i oh, just yeah. i don't know that what's happening that was happening. Uh, 20, 2011 world cup when i was not picked i was not part of the 2011 world cup uh and that was the saddest moment because the world cup was being played in india and mm. the final was at my home ground one mm. day So to yeah. miss out on all that and to sit at home and watch these guys lift the trophy was not easy for me. Uh, so that was the lowest lowest point for me. Uh, Why weren't you picked? Oh, it's my own uh, performances. I was not at my best at that point. Someone has come to say hi. Where is she? Hello. Say hi, Sammy. Hi. Do hi. Hi. Hello. Do hi. <laughs> Instagram star. <laughs> <laughs> She's learning to play cricket. Legend. Legend. <laughs> Do you want her to be a cricketer? You want to be a cricketer? And right now she Hello. Hi. Hello. Who's that? I see you. Yo. 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 <laughs> okay. Was it Mother's Day? Was it Mother's Day in India? On Sunday? Sorry, what's that? Was it Mother's Day in India on Sunday? No, not on Sunday. It wasn't on Sunday. Oh, no, in the UK it was Mother's Day, on, uh, and uh, obviously for um, yeah, for everybody it was a bit of a damn squib just because of the uh, the situation with everything at the moment. People weren't able to see their mums and that, so it's actually quite. But it's quite nice to be a family unit, isn't it? All under one roof and being able to spend so much yeah, time together. Yeah, I mean it's. Yeah, that's what I said at the start. I mean, in a way, I want to look at look at this lockdown as a positive uh, way to just bond with my family, stay yeah. indoors, and you know, try and help uh, the country, uh, whatever they're asking us to do for. So, yeah, I mean, how are you keep, as well? How are you keeping fit? <laughs> it's very hard, actually. <laughs> you know, it's, I I live in a building which is about fifty uh, four floors, fifty four story building. uh so uh which means they have to shut down all the indoor outdoor activities in the building yeah there was gym which was uh, being used till a while ago but they have stopped that as well oh my goodness uh, so you can't use the gym as well uh and then oh, yeah yeah come sit here and then uh hi 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 okay and then uh, I've been just running up and down in the stairs to do my endurance. Mama, you've been running up fifty-four flights of stairs. Not not fifty-four floors, but yeah, about two three floors up and down. And I've got a little routine uh, which my trainers have sent, so I'm trying to do all of that. A little bit of theraband here and there, uh, balance pad, bosu balls, and all that. Push-ups, yeah, I mean, whatever I can do indoors, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think my endo- I mean my endurance. She's been keeping a check on my endurance because she makes me run all over the house. So you know, it's, you know, it's crazy, right? So you know these um those uh, Fitbits uh, that people wear to check out their um steps. Yeah, yeah. How many yeah. steps? My son is doing you know, uh, grown ups, and I mean I know uh, uh, Sunny Gavaskar. It was so funny when you guys are playing uh, at uh, and we're commentating in the one caddy. It'll get to about ten thirty, eleven o'clock at night, and uh, Sunny is wearing this watch. And you'll see that he's only done about eight thousand steps in the day. So between commentary stints, Sunny is walking up and down the passage to get ten, to get to his ten thousand steps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I, I mean, my uh, uh, I've seen a lot of my friends do that as well. Yeah, I don't know how much it's going to help the youngsters uh, just do the walking part of it and get ten thousand steps done. Uh, in my in-law, my father-in-law uses that as well. Uh, where did you Where did you get the the um, The nickname, the Hitman. I see Hitman's flying all over my screen here at the moment. Hitman, Hitman, Hitman. <laughs> Jeez. I guess it was you know uh, way back in 2013 actually. Um, uh, I was batting and I got a double hundred in that game against Australia. Yeah, I remember it. Double hundred. So uh, uh, Mr. Ravi Shastri was on air, and you know how he talks. 
and uh, the hitman. Yeah, he said, "Oh, the, he is India's hitman." They call him a hitman of India <laughs> because there was a talk. Uh, there was, the, uh, you know, PD, right? Of course. Yeah, so he's the one who gave me that name. And, really? Uh, yeah, because my name ends with hit, H mm -hmm. I T. And he said, "Ro, you are a hitman, man. You are a hitman." So for he everybody watching, PD PD is the floor manager. And he yeah. works for Star, and he's the little guy that you see running around, basically just uh, uh, making us as commentators work and getting all the interviews right. He's um, he's the, he's the, the main man. Lovers, a lot of the cricket lovers who are online right now, they would know who PD is because he's always be he's always seen on the yeah. on the tel uh, on the television. Yeah, he likes to he likes to be seen on the television. Yeah, although it's very difficult to spot him, uh, but yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, it's uh, very difficult to spot him. It's also very difficult to spot uh, Yuvrendra Chahal. I think he's giving you something. Yeah, he's saying, I mean, he's saying, hey, he says, Rohit, how are you keeping fit? So he's on you. He, he's here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what I mean. I, I, I'm not uh, surprised. He's a he's an Instagram lover. Is he? There he, he is. KP, KP is my first test match wicket. Chahal, if <laughs> mate, <laughs> I would have closed my eyes betting against you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's watching us. He's watching us. He is. He's he's commenting on the post at the moment. Yeah. He loves his um. He loves his Xbox and everything, doesn't he? Yeah, he loves his Xbox. I know. I not not. He's not a much of a Xbox fan. He's much of a that whatever that game is on the mobile phone. They play PUBG. It's some shooting game. Really? So you get you get five guys online and you 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 play together. Uh, you you can you can talk. You can talk oh, while so playing. You can communicate between each other. So, yeah, exactly. If if the guy is sitting in in the other city, I mean, you can talk and you can you can find a way to kill the other person. You know, it's 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 very complicated. I'm not I'm not much of a youngsters a mobile game fan. I I love my PlayStation. Yes, I do play PlayStation a lot, but uh, yeah. not much on my phone. Who's who do you think is hating this the most in the Indian team being cooped uh, up? In their room and not being able to move. Who's hating it? I guess people, uh, guys who are single. <laughs> <laughs> they must be dying to go out. <laughs> I see Give all me... these all these guys posting pictures, selfies, and all that. I, I can make out from all that. that these, guys are, these guys are fried. They they want to get out. A bit. A, a the bit. worst worst things worst part is you know they're. The cops sitting under the building, right under the building of all these guys. Really? Yeah, I mean, most of the guys uh, they're sitting. I mean, as soon as they come, see them come down, go up. You can't come down, go up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, yeah, I mean, they're, uh, particularly they're keeping eye on all these uh, naughty boys. There like we go. Chahal. So, Ch so Chahal is actually saying here to him, he's the one. He says twenty days to go. He can't wait to get out. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can. I, I cannot even imagine what he'll be going through all these twenty days. Who else? Come on, any any others? Um, I mean, uh, people who are people actually, you know what? People who live outside Mumbai, they'll be slightly happier because they've like got a space. Big, yeah, space. They they they, they can yeah. easily they live in houses, not in apartments. So yeah. they've got garden, they've got pool, and all that. So they can they can still manage. For me, it's damn tough, difficult, but yeah. you know, I'm keeping up. But well, uh, you're you're a role model in the country, and I think you're doing it amazingly well to be able to just say to people and broadcast a message. If there's a message that you'd like to give all the Indians now, what would you like to say? I mean, yeah, I would just not just the Indians, but the entire nation, you know, entire uh, world. I mean, it's important for us to be a little disciplined at this point. Uh, you know, there will be the, the, there has been times where people. Um, you know, I've said I want to do something for the country. I'm. I want to do something for the country. This is their time to show that by even this much, they can make a difference by doing this much. So all we are asking is to just stay home and a little discipline. I know yes. people still will go out for uh, you know buying groceries and medical yep. services, and you know there are a lot of other people who are working to make mm. sure that grocery stores will be open. So for them as well. You know, just discipline. Social distance, distancing is very important. Washing yep. hands, keeping your hygiene nice and clean. Yeah, uh, yeah. Which I see, uh, you know, happening around our country pretty well, right? Brilliant. Now. UK. I hope you know UK is one of my favorite places to visit. I hope uh, you know mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah they are, mate. It's under complete. I, I promise you, it's under complete lockdown. There is yeah. nothing going on here at the moment, and uh, they've been. I mean, it's taken a little bit longer than everybody would have expected. They would have expected this place to have gone into lockdown two or three weeks ago, but the lockdown is real now. People are. They're not doing anything. I think the, one of the most beautiful things is. We live quite nicely outside of London and there's a gorgeous um, f uh, forest next to us and you see so many kids walking with their parents and you just, from, from, from the kids' perspective, how amazing must it be for them to be having mom and dad at home the whole time, huh? Absolutely. I mean, that's what I'm thinking right now about my kid. Like, I mean, it's so tough. You know, they, they don't understand why am I kept in the house. Uh, I want to go out. Uh, go out and enjoy the garden, but she doesn't know that. So she cries yeah. a lot inside yeah. the house. But we're trying to keep her entertained. Uh, we're mm. trying to do everything we can. Uh, I know it's so tough. I, I can only imagine what the kids uh, must be going through and all that. Along let's talk. Um, let's, suffering. Yeah, let's talk quickly about um, uh, your love of conservation, your love of wildlife, your love, your love of rhinos. I mean, I just shot the documentary for National yeah, Geographic. I mean, I was, that was my last. Uh, that was going to be my uh, last conversation with you. I wanted to ask you about that. Uh, instead of me answering that, I wanted to ask you about that. Yeah. Uh, I was watching it. I, I watched all your uh, Instagram stories, and mm. I, I can't wait for that documentary to come out because Kaziranga is the place where I've been looking forward to visit for a long, long, long time now. Yeah. And you know, the only reason I've not been there is because uh, hectic. Yeah, we get only seven, eight days between between the series, yeah. and it's very tough mm. uh, to go there and come back to uh, Bombay and start yeah. doing what I do. Uh, so I was looking forward to you know find some time between IPL and uh, you know me getting fit. So I had about ten days there, but now it's gone. I was I was planning to visit at that point, but it's gone. Are you fully Are you fully fit now? Before I, I talk yeah, to you, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm fully fit. Yeah. I still have to do my fitness testing because NCA got shut because of all this. Yeah. Uh, so I still have to do my fitness testing, which I'll do, I guess, once uh, uh, the lockdown opens up or yeah. is out a little bit. And then, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, if I have to play a game today, I'll, I'm ready to play a game. Beautiful. I just have to do the formalities and all that. Beautiful. Yeah. I mean, Kaziranga, mate, oh, the thing is in Kaziranga, you got to fly to Guwahati. So we spent a couple of days in Guwahati and... Uh, we um we went to a couple of local schools there to just see how the city kids worked uh, worked and did did what they did, and then it's about four and a half hours to five hour drive to Kaziranga. We stayed yes. um just on the side of the park. I mean, the conservation effort there it is the greatest conservation story in Indian history. The the number of rhinos. Uh, and the population of rhino there. Honestly, yeah, it is. Yeah. You turn left and there's a rhino. Turn right, there's a rhino. There's the population has grown so much that they're now relocating to another national park because uh, oh, the wow. rhino per capita. That's good. That's yeah, the news. Yeah, the rhino per capita in Kaziranga National Park is um, is so good. So uh, we we filmed the whole documentary on the success stories and how the people live in harmony with um, the animals. There's no fence around Kaziranga National Park compared yeah. to yeah. South Africa where there's 10 foot tall electric fences with monitors right. and cameras and CCTV. Yep. The animals and the humans just live uh, so happily together. And it's, it's got, it's, it's, it's the most majestic part of the world. I mean, it's beautiful, man. I went walking through rural villages there and speaking to people, seeing people smile, being invited into all the houses, being cooked for unbelievable. You have to go if you're you, as much as you love animals and you love the rhino you have to go it's it's yeah, incredible no, no, no. it's 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 my plan to go with my family in fact not not my kid but uh, i want to take uh, my wife uh, ritika over there and just to just to experience the whole uh, mm. uh, whole situation there uh, i know it uh, will be an amazing uh, experience for me there so i i'm, I'm quite looking forward to that Let's see how the next uh, few months plans out for all of us. Exactly. And, uh, we can do that. And it's your, it's your birthday uh, end of the month? Yeah, April. April end. April end of April. Yeah. I've, just had a message, I've just had a message through from Star to say that they're going to be celebrating your birthday in style for a week, starting on around about the 30th of April. So you'll have something to watch, mate. You'll be able to watch yourself play pull shots. I've been watching all of that all these days. I've been... <laughs> 
I've never seen me play so much <laughs> as I've seen in the last two days. So, do you um do you like watching yourself play? Do you like do you watch and go, oh goodness, why did I do that? Yeah, at times I do, I do. Uh, but um, I don't want to be. I don't. I keep keep it on mute and watch. I don't want people to talk about uh, how I bad and what shot I play and things like I see, that. I see. Don't you don't like me me talking about how good you are. No, I love I love your commentary. No <laughs> really <get> you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, buddy. Um, mate, I reckon that's that's about it. You get back to the little girl now. Yes, she's saying bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Are you playing this? Ooh. Thanks, Rohit. Thanks, JP. Cheers, brother. Bye, mate. Cheers. Bye. bye I'll buddy. I'll keep in touch. Yes, bro. Bye, bye, bye. Hello, Rohit Sharma. Rohit Sharma. Hello, hello, hello. Zada masti nahi. Lagta hai bahut miss kiya tune itne sab itne time se. Bilkul. नहीं अभी जस्ट मैं तेरे आने से पहले आई वाज जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट कि कितना इम्पोर्टेंट है हमारे लिए uh, थोड़ा डिसिप्लिन मेंटेन करना uh, ये जो टाइम चल रहा है सबके लिए uh, इतना आसान नहीं है uh, तो आई वाज जस्ट ट्राइंग टू गिव अ मैसेज और बताइए आपके हाल चाल क्या है आप क्या कर रहे हो फिलहाल लॉकडाउन uh, पर so, so. मुझे पता <laughs> लॉकडाउन वाले बंदे हो नहीं वैसे आप मुझे पता है बहुत अच्छे तरीके से बट लोगों को बताइए अपने बारे में मैं भैया पूरा रूटीन अपना सुबह पांच बजे सोता हूँ दो बजे उठता हूँ लंच करता हूँ यस भैया क्या बात है यार सुबह पांच बजे भाई मेरे आ, थोड़ा गेम खेल लेते हैं पबजी वगैरह पबजी खेल लेते तो फिर थोड़ा टिकटॉक पे वीडियो देख लेते हैं फिर उठ जाते हैं फिर सुबह नौ बजे मॉम उठाते हैं दूध पिलाने के लिए फिर दूध पीते हैं फिर वापस सो जाते हैं फिर दो बजे उठते हैं फिर लंच करते हैं फिर थोड़ा फैमिली के साथ टाइम स्पेंड करते हैं फिर रूम पे आगे वीडियोस देखते हैं थोड़ा नेटफ्लिक्स वगैरह अमेजोन वगैरह जो भी है वो देखते हैं फिर रात को डिनर करते हैं फिर वापिस आ जाते हैं फिर पबजी खेलते हैं अभी फिलहाल इन चीजों के अलावा हम कुछ कर नहीं सकते जैसे भी हमारा जो भी टाइम चल रहा है आ, अच्छे तरीके से यूटिलाइज करना चाहिए अपने को आ, फैमिली के साथ हम हमारे हम क्रिकेटर्स के लिए आ, इतने सालों से आ, इतना आसान नहीं था आ, फैमिली से दूर रहना आ, हर तीसरे चौथे दिन हम टूर पे चले जाते थे घर आने के बाद तो आई थिंक ये एक टाइम है जहाँ पे हम अपने घर घर वालों के साथ टाइम स्पेंड कर सकते हैं बिल्कुल भैया बिल्कुल मैंने आपका वीडियो देखा अभी रिसेंटली डैड को इतना मत नचाओ यार घुटना उठना टूट जाए भाई नहीं नहीं डैड यंग है यार अभी डैड <laughs> <laughs> जब से जब से गुड़गांव शिफ्ट हुआ जब से पूरा रेस्ट ही कर रहे हैं तो मैं थोड़ा थोड़ा वर्कआउट करा देते हैं उन्हें ये अच्छा है मैंने आपका वीडियो भी देखा यार अपने कुत्तों के साथ आप खेल रहे हो बाहर जा नहीं सकते जिस हिसाब से चल रहे दिल से आ रही है वो वाली रिस्पेक्ट आप लाइफ में कर भी सकते ना लाखों लोग कैमरा लेके बैठे हैं कैप्चर कर लेंगे यार बिल्कुल वो जब कैमरा सामने चालू रहता है ना ऐसे तो पता नहीं वो जी तुम आप जैसे 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 फेमस हुआ था भाग पूजी भाग बोल मत यहाँ पर चुपचाप रहे भाई अच्छा एक और बात मेरे को पता है यार अपने आप को फिट रख रहा है कि नहीं कुछ कर रहा है फिटनेस के लिए या अभी तो भैया मैं कर रहा हूँ पर अभी मैं एक दो दिन से वापिस रूटीन में आऊंगा तो तो मतलब स्टार्ट में जो भी होता है तो फिर अपना जो लोग देखेंगे जिम वगैरह जिम तो है नहीं पर अपना जो भी नॉर्मल वर्कआउट हो सकता है आ, मतलब एक्सरसाइज वगैरह तो वो मैं अभी स्टार्ट करूंगा क्योंकि काफी टाइम के बाद थोड़ा सा रेस्ट मिला है तो फैमिली का टाइम थोड़ा नहीं, नहीं, कर नहीं, जरूरी है जरूरी है अच्छा टाइम यूज करो यार हम भी मतलब काफी जो जो चीज हम एज अ फैमिली पहले नहीं कर पाते थे क्योंकि टाइम कम होता था तो जो जो इम्पोर्टेंट चीजें थे वो करते थे अभी क्या है अभी हम लोग बैठ के साथ में टीवी देख रहे हैं साथ में खेल रहे हैं 
समय को लेके और काफी कुछ चीज यार मतलब अभी मैं क्या बताऊ यार पूरा दिन हम खेलते ही रहते और फिलहाल हरियाणा में अभी कैसा माहौल है सब ठीक है वहाँ पर अभी तो भैया है लेकिन फिर भी कुछ लोगों को थोड़ा सा चीड़ा तो रहता ही है कि बाहर घूमने का सामने मेरे पा... जैसे लोग को खड़ा होना चाहिए भैया जिस हिसाब से क्योंकि जो सामने पार्क है ना वो बीच में दो तीन प्लॉट छोड़ के तो वहाँ तक आवाज जाता नहीं लेकिन मैंने वहाँ पे फिर डेड ने सिक्योरिटी वालों को फोन किया बोलने के लिए कोई आया है छोटे-छोटे इसमें ना स्पेशल तो यार मैं ये बोला था कि तेरे को अपने बालकनी में खड़े होकर उनको चिल्लाना चाहिए बोलना चाहिए भाई घर पे जाओ यार नहीं वहाँ तक जाते नहीं लेकिन मैंने सिक्योरिटी हमने सिक्योरिटी गार्ड को बोला और जिन अंकल का घर है वो डैड को जानते हैं तो उन्होंने जाके स्पेशली पार्क में जाके लोगों को बोला कि प्लीज क्योंकि कई लोगों को समझ में नहीं आता उनको लगता है की लॉकडाउन का मतलब उनको समझ में नहीं आया क्योंकि एक ऐसा वायरस है भैया की आप अगर किसी से मिल भी रहे हो ना तो तो आपको हो जाएगा और अगर आपको हुआ तो आपको पता नहीं लगेगा तो आप घर आओगे तो आप अपनी पूरी फैमिली को डेंजर्स में डाल रहे हो बिल्कुल बिल्कुल तो ये चीज थोड़ा सा समझना पड़ेगा क्योंकि तब भी ट्वेंटी वन डेज का किया है वरना तो ऐसा अगर इतना सीरियस होता नहीं कितने दिन का ट्वेंटी वन डेज का तो ये फोर्टीन ऑफ अप्रैल तक यार चहल आपका नेटवर्क खराब है यार भैया मैं क्योंकि यहाँ देखो पता ही प्रॉब्लम क्या है मैं वाईफाई इसलिए यूज नहीं कर रहा क्योंकि सब लोग घर पे बैठ के वाईफाई यूज कर रहे हो तो यार तू भी यूज कर ले वाईफाई <laughs> तो वो थोड़ा स्लो हो जाता है बॉम्बे का दिखा थोड़ा सा यहाँ पे लोग बाहर दिख रहे मुझे बट यार ये आई थिंक मस्ट बी सम सम ऑफ एमरजेंसी और समथिंग ऐसा कुछ होता है मेरे हिसाब से ऐसे ही होना चाहिए अच्छा मेरे लिए मुझे आ, आप देख सकते हैं एक दो गाड़िया दिख रही है बट बट फिलहाल बॉम्बे मैंने कभी आज तक ऐसा नहीं देखा है कितना शांत है ये तो एक साइड है वो दिख रहा है सीलिंग हाँ जी भैया चल नेटवर्क ठीक कर यार अपना तू भैया आपका है आपका मेरा तो परफेक्ट चल रहा है परफेक्ट ठीक है अभी तो मैं बालकनी में था अभी मैं अंदर जा रहा हूँ हाँ इस वजह से साड़ी रुक रहा है अच्छा भैया एक एक चीज पूछनी थी मुझे जी आ, एक क्वेश्चन था ये आईपीएल आईपीएल कब स्टार्ट हो रहा है आईपीएल कब स्टार्ट हो रहा है सबको आईपीएल के बारे में ही जानना है अभी फिलहाल देखो यार आईपीएल मुझे तो नहीं पता यार मैं तो आ, मैं तो डिसाइड नहीं करता बट फिलहाल हम सब सारे क्रिकेटर्स को क्रिकेट खेलना है आ, बहुत कुछ खेलना है बट अभी फिलहाल तो अपने को ध्यान में रखना चाहिए जो अभी कंट्री में चल रहा है आ, हमारे और सारे कंट्रियों में पहले वो सब ठीक हो जाए आ, आ, जो लोग आ, इस चीज से सफर कर रहे हैं वो सब ठीक हो जाए एक बार वो सब ठीक हो गया उसके बाद आई थिंक लाइफ नॉर्मल हो जाएगा बिल्कुल भैया तो और उस वो होने के लिए हम सबको डिसिप्लिन होना पड़ेगा तो इसीलिए मैं बोल रहा हूँ भाई मेरे बैल्कनी में खड़े रहो और चिल्लाओ जो भी बाहर दिख रहे <laughs> मैं मैं फिलहाल ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ फ्लोर पे हूँ यहाँ पर तो मैं यहाँ से नीचे नहीं चिल्ला सकता बट अगर होगा तो, तो चिल्लाऊंगा तो आप एक काम करो ना एक पेपर लो उस पर लिखो और अपने बालकनी से फेंकते रहो नहीं यार कचरा कहाँ फेंकने की बात है <laughs> तो वैसे आप घर पे रह रहे हो तो मतलब आपने साफ सफाई बर्तन धोना वगैरह तो सीख लिया होगा थोड़ा बहुत तो हाँ, मैं भी कर रहा हूँ यार जो भी अभी घर साफ सफाई अभी मैं केविन पीटरसन से बात कर रहा था इसी चीज के बारे में उसने देखा बारह बजे सुबह मैसेज किया था उसका रिप्लाई मैंने ढाई बजे किया वो मुझे बोल रहा है भाई 
ये लॉकडाउन है लॉकडाउन में तू कहा ढाई घंटा बिजी था क्या कर रहा था भाई तो मैंने उसको समझाया कि यार घर वर साफ कर रहा था ये सब मौका कभी मिला नहीं है तो सीख रहा था घर कैसे साफ करते भाभी कपड़े कैसे धोने हैं हाँ सब लॉन्ड्री वॉन्ड्री यही मेरा फिटनेस है एक्चुअली अभी देखा जाए तो यहाँ वहां से मायरा के पीछे भाग रहा हो यहाँ से वहाँ वहां से यहाँ तो यही थोड़ा बहुत जो भी हो रहा है हो रहा है पर एक अच्छा ना भी जो जिनकी शादी हो चुकी है उनका अच्छा की फैमिली बच्चों का टाइम मिल रहा है हाँ मैं वही उसने मुझे यही चीज पूछा था कि यार सबसे ज्यादा कौन तड़प रहा होगा बाहर जाने के लिए अभी तो मैंने उसको तेरा ही नाम लिया <laughs> मुझे पता है कि जो लोग शादीशुदा है <laughs> जिसने जिसकी शादी नहीं हुए वो लोग का तो भाई पता नहीं क्या हो रहा होगा जो शादी हो जो शादीशुदा लोग बीवी के साथ घर में बैठे है टीवी देख रहे मूवी देख रहे बच्चों के साथ खेल रहे यहाँ वहां मस्ती कर रहे बट जिन जो लोग अकेले हैं <laughs> अपना सर दीवार पे मार रहे <laughs> <laughs> वो आजकल वो शादी के लिए किसी को ढूंढ नहीं पा रहे अरे मुझे बहुत लोग मैसेज कर रहे नीचे या पूछ रहे कि चहल चहल का थोड़ा क्रिकेट के बारे में बात करो चहल सो में क्या आई मीन सी अभी यार आई वॉज अभी वो भी uh the new zealand series didn't go well for us but what was something that you were trying to change in this south africa series in your bowling i thought you bowled really well uh, you at uh, at different point in the game you brought the team back into uh, the winning position but hum log wo finishing line cross nahi kar sake but what was something that something new that you were trying to do uh, in south africa series mein I think in New Zealand way, I in two matches I took six wicket, but uh, I just I'm just waiting for the one winning spell. You know that if you take like two or three wicket, like but, one in Australia, you, you did one in Australia, six wicket. Yeah, in Australia I took six six wicket. So I'm missing that spell because it's been so long. I'm taking yeah. one, two, three wickets, but uh, I you can understand. That, okay, you want that uh, bigger figure? Yeah, I want a, not a bigger finger, but uh, like even in the last T20, uh, last ODI ODI game in New Zealand, I took ah. three wickets in seven overs. But I think uh, that time in like one over, I tried so much. I was like, you know, running behind the wicket. Okay, I want to get him out. I want to get him out. But you know, sometimes you have to be patient and you have to like, you know, bowl like you bowl to top order batsmen. So I think uh, I was planning to in the New South Africa series. I have to change a little bit this. There is a question uh, from Vritika. How are you managing without row for so long? Jesus. Abhi. वो तो अभी मुंबई है मतलब अगर यहाँ होते तो आप वो बाजू में इधर ही होते बट अगेन देर इज अनदर क्वेश्चन विच पीपल आर आस्किंग मी इज हाउ कम चहल इज फ्रेंड्स विद ऑल दिस इंटरनेशनल प्लेयर्स सो मच एंड नॉट विद इंडियन प्लेयर्स सो मच मतलब उनको लग रहा है कि तेरा बॉन्ड जो है ये क्रिस गेल एबी डी विलियर्स कॉलिन डी ग्रैंड होम टिम साउदी और कौन क्या वे, सारे वेस्ट इंडियन <laughs> ये सबसे तेरी दोस्ती ज्यादा है <laughs> और हमारे लोग हमारे से ज्यादा नहीं है बट मेरे साथ तो है यार क्या है <laughs> नहीं ऐसा कुछ नहीं है मेरा सब तो पूरी टीम में देखो तो मतलब आईपीएल में प्लीज एक्सप्लेन कि एक्चुअली क्या होता है ना आईपीएल में क्योंकि मेरे, मेरी आदत है लेट तक सोना और वो आते तो उनको जेट लाइन लगा होता है तो लेट तक आप हाँ नहीं मतलब मैं सोता हूँ मतलब एक दो बजे तक सोता हूँ और वो भी तब तक जागरे होते हैं मोस्टली अपने इंडियन प्लेयर सो जाते हैं ग्यारह बजे साढ़े बजे तो एक्स्ट्रा जो डेढ़ दो घंटा होंगे साढ़े ग्यारह बजे खत्म होता है मेरे भाई हाँ तो उसके बाद मैं नॉर्मली बता रहा हूँ भैया अगर अगर जैसे ऑफ डे होता है या कैंप्स होते हैं मतलब स्टार्टिंग जो होता है तब भी होता है जो एक्स्ट्रा दो डेढ़ दो घंटा होता है ना बस वही है उनकी तरफ थोड़ा बॉन्ड ज्यादा है बस वो और कुछ नहीं है चलो ठीक है मैं एक्सपोज नहीं करूंगा आपको ज्यादा बस <laughs> करो नीचे फैमिली देख रही है <laughs> अच्छा तो आपका बैंड कब बज रहा है फिर कुछ है उसके बारे में कुछ बताइए जरा कुछ अभी तो पहले कोरोना वायरस खत्म कर दे अभी तो जो है इसने बैंड बजा रखा है फिर जो हम मिस कर रहे हैं थोड़ा क्रिकेट खेल इसको इसको यार इसको मजाक में मत लो यार सीरियसली मैं नहीं क्योंकि कई लोगों का मैंने देखा है मैंने कई वीडियोस देखे हैं मतलब वो कहते हैं कि हाँ कोरोना वायरस हमारे क्या कर देगा तो इवन 
ये तो अभी थोड़ा पुलिस ने जो बहुत अच्छा काम किया है कि वो आजकल बैटिंग कर रही है पुलिस हमारी जो भी मिलता है तो उसको सीधा घर पे छक्का मार रहे हैं तो आई थिंक ये चीज बहुत अच्छी चीज करी है हमारे पीएम ने कि पूरा क्लोज कर दिया है क्योंकि अगर आप चीज लॉकडाउन से ही खत्म हो गया यार हाँ क्योंकि आप इटली देखोगे यूएस देखोगे मतलब वहाँ पे केसेस बढ़ रहे हैं डे बाई डे तो आई थिंक अगर ट्वेंटी डे में अगर हम थर्टी फोर्टी भी कम कर दे तो आई थिंक इट्स अ गुड थिंग हाँ यार बस हम लोगों को थोड़ा समझ समझदारी से काम लेना होगा एंड uh, बस स्टे होम यार एज सिंपल एज दैट यस भैया चहल जैसा आदमी घर में है बड़ी <laughs> ताजुब की बात है हम मेरे लिए तो क्योंकि मैं जानता हूँ उनको बहुत अच्छे से घर बैठना पसंद नहीं करते अगर उ, उसके जैसा आदमी घर बैठ रहा है तो बाकी लोग भी बैठ ही सकते हैं यार तो हम ये कॉन्वर्जेशन एंड करेंगे चेल yes. टीवी तो फेमस है ही बट चेल टीवी सिर्फ बीसीसीआई के में होगा यहाँ पे अभी घर में बैठे बैठे हम यहाँ पे आते आते यस बिल्कुल या बिल्कुल चले आप जाइए आपका खाना डिनर बनाने का टाइम हो गया होगा आटा वगैरह नहीं अभी डिनर बन चुका है हमारा <laughs> हमने मिलके बना लिया था बट चेल नाइस टॉकिंग टू यू गुड सीट रहो और ध्यान रखो घर वालों का आसपास वालों का बाहर मत वैसे एक और क्वेश्चन है आपका पुल शॉट के लिए जहाँ से पावर आता है थोड़ा वो बढ़ गया है कम हो गया <laughs> पुल शॉट तो यार तुमको पता ही है भाई मैं अगर नींद से भी उठ के आऊंगा तो मार दूंगा जहाँ से पावर आता है पावर आता है वहाँ की पावर तो सब जगह से आता है भाई हाथ से आता है कोर से आता है सबसे ज्यादा यहाँ से आता है बिल्कुल भैया चलो चलो भाभी और तुम्हारे को प्यार बोलना सुन लिया बहुत जल्दी बात करेंगे बिल्कुल डन भैया बिल्कुल डन सी यू सी भैया बाय टेक केयर बाय बाय अरे मेरे भाई <laughs> अरे कहा तो कब से कोशिश कर रहे हैं ठीक है कोई बात नहीं ये हम लोग इंस्टाग्राम वाले लोग नहीं है तो इतना हमको पता नहीं कैसे करते हैं क्या है हम्म पर हो तो गया ना आखिर जैसी हवा यू डूंग बड़ी गुड 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 आप कैसे हो मैं तो ठीक हूँ यार चिल कर रहा हूँ अभी और क्या घर पे हूँ मैं मैं देख रहा था कि चहल भी कुछ लिख रहा है ये भी लिख रहा है चहल एक्सपर्ट है मैंने उसको कल मैंने उसका ऐसे ही वीडियो एक देखा था तो मैंने देखा उसमें भी वो इंस्टाग्राम पे है तो मैंने बोला थोड़ा सोशल मीडिया को आराम दे सकता है वो चहल इस चैट पे अभी लिख रहा है की लाइफ में इतना कुछ हो रहा है कुछ लिख रहा है लाइफ में इतना कुछ हो रहा है और आप लोग को इंस्टाग्राम की पड़ी है मैंने बोला मैं उसको बोलने आया था ये सड़ा हुआ सब वीडियो जो तू डाल रहा है ना पहले वो बंद <laughs> वो अभी वो टिकटॉक स्टार हो गया है उसमें मैंने देखे उसके वीडियोस टिकटॉक को टिकटॉक स्टार हो रहा है वो अभी जबरदस्ती फेमस कर रहा है टिकटॉक को तो तो अभी अगर आई होता तो अभी चालू हो गया होता अभी आई होता तो आज क्या तारीख है एक तारीख है भाई आज हमारा हैदराबाद के साथ मैच होता शायद हम्म अभी क्रिकेट तो ऐसा लग रहा है कि 744 मतलब अभी मैं जस्ट तुम लोग को ड्रेसिंग रूम में आके बोल रहा होता कि भाई हम टॉस हार गए या जीत गए बैटिंग करना है या बॉलिंग करना है नहीं हैदराबाद में तो यूजुअली हम टॉस हारते ही हैं हाँ है, हमने इतने सारे <laughs> मैच हम हारे तो याद नहीं है की कभी टॉस जीते लास्ट ईयर भी सी एस के साथ फाइनल में टॉस हारे थे हम शायद यार पता नहीं उसमें जीते थे नहीं हैदराबाद में जब भी मैच होती है थोड़ा ज्यादा टेंसिटी हो जाती है एंड तक जाती है तो थोड़ा हो ही जाता है प्रॉब्लम हैदराबाद यार लो स्कोरिंग ग्राउंड है यार मतलब दो बार हम जो जीते वैसे ही जीते बट बाकी लोग टीम जब जाते तो 200 200 करते हैं हम पता नहीं यार हमारे लिए नहीं, मुझे 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 तो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है हैदराबाद का ग्राउंड बड़ा है बॉल रिवर्स स्विंग होता है हमको कोई दिक्कत नहीं है हमको बॉम्बे में से तो अच्छा हैदराबाद में खेलना अच्छा और बॉम्बे मतलब सिर्फ ग्राउंड टीम में बॉम्बे बॉम्बे टाइम पे होता है ना ग्राउंड डिफिकल्ट है टीम तो वही है अभी अभी जैसा जैसा वेदर अभी हो, हुआ है बॉम्बे में मुझे नहीं लगता कि इस साल ज्यादा ड्यू आता था तो सारे अपने बॉलर लोग खुश होते थे क्यों क्यों गर्मी ड्यू तो गर्मी की वजह से आता है अभी गर्मी, गर्मी नहीं होता इस बार इस बार यार अभी मैं जस्ट अपना बैल्कनी में मैं बैठा हुआ था बैल्कनी का दरवाजा खोला इतना ठंडा हवा चल रहा है बॉम्बे में मैंने ऐसा कभी महसूस नहीं किया भाई तो वही ना वो हम लोग को भगवान चाह नहीं रहे कि इजी मिले <laughs> आपको 
मुश्किल ही चीजें देना चाह रहे हैं पर अभी आपके इंजरी और वो सब ठीक हो गया आप ठीक हो ओके मैं तो वेट ही कर रहा था खेलने का बट uh, मुझे तो मैंने वही बात की थी कि कब ज्वाइन करने वाले हैं अभी ज्वाइनिंग का शुरू होने वाला था उससे पहले ही सब लॉकडाउन ही हो गया बंद ही हो गया सब 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 खराब हो गया यार जो भी हुआ बट एनी anyway, <laughs> अभी वो तो आप मतलब यार फिटनेस वाइज कैसे हाउ आर यू मेंटेनिंग योर सेल्फ फिटनेस वाइज तो अभी क्या फिटनेस वाइज तो थोड़ा कर रहा है आपने अगर पता नहीं देखा कि नहीं थोड़ा घर का काम ही कर रहा हूँ मैं थोड़ा <laughs> थोड़ा झाड़ू कट का कर रहा हूँ मम्मी को बर्तन धोने में मदद कर रहा हूँ और कभी कभी पार्ट टाइम माली भी बना हुआ हूँ तो झाड़ू में पानी भी डाल रहा हूँ मेरे ख्याल से सारे जितने भी क्रिकेटर्स है सारे ये काम में बहुत मशहूर होंगे क्योंकि बचपन से हम सारे लोग यही करते आ रहे मे बी एक या दो क्रिकेटर होंगे पूरे अपने इंडिया में जो जिनको मतलब अच्छा लाइफस्टाइल पहले से ही मिला हो बट हम सारे लोग तो पहले यही सब काम करते थे तो हमारा बचपन याद आ गया अभी तो नहीं मैं मतलब हमने किया है पर अभी बहुत टाइम बात कर रहे हैं तो थोड़ा अलग एक्सपीरियंस है अजीब, अभी अजीब बस अलग मैं तो क्या पता नहीं उठ के मैं सोच रहा हूँ आज क्या करना है अभी तो कोई काम होता नहीं है तो बस जो काम हमें घर वाले दे देते हैं वो हम करने लगते हैं या फिर ये मेरा जो रूम है जो यहाँ मैं प्ले स्टेशन खेलते रहता हूँ या मैं यही होता हूँ पूरे दिन अगर मैं दिखाता हूँ देखो मैं ये रूम में बैठा रहता हूँ और यहाँ बैठे रहता हूँ काफी सारी ट्रॉफी दिखती है मुझे वहां पर भाई हाँ ये अभी वो हम नए घर में शिफ्ट हुए हैं तो उसका हाँ। ये मेरा गेमिंग रूम है तो मैं यहाँ यही बैठे रहता हूँ जब मेरे दोस्त भी आते हैं पर अभी तो दोस्त काफी टाइम से आए नहीं पर मैं यही बैठे रहता हूँ या मूवीज देखता हूँ या यहाँ प्ले स्टेशन खेलता हूँ अहमदाबाद में अभी है, सब, like, मतलब, अभी मतलब इतना थोड़ा लॉकडाउन लो, लो, अच्छे से हुआ है लोग फॉलो कर रहे हैं इतने लोग अभी है नहीं और यहाँ पे तो देख रहे हैं कि थोड़ा धीरे धीरे स्प्रेड हो रहा है तो अच्छा है लोग सुन रहे हैं बात तो होपफुली चीजें इम्प्रूव होगी बट हमने तो सोचा ही नहीं था जब हम न्यूजीलैंड में थे जब हमने सुना था ऐसा है हमको तो पता ही नहीं था कि ऐसा हो जाएगा कि मतलब घर से निकलना ही मुश्किल हो जाएगा ये कभी किसी ने सोचा नहीं होगा लाइफ टाइम लाइफ में अपने कि ऐसा हो सकता है बॉम्बे की सड़कें खुली मतलब एकदम सुनसाम हो चुकी है और ऐसा कभी बॉम्बे में हुआ नहीं इतने कितने कई सालों से यार अभी मतलब बॉम्बे क्या पूरे वर्ल्ड में अभी एकदम नहीं वही तो यही बोल रहे थे कि वर्ल्ड वॉर के बाद शायद अभी क्रिकेट बंद हुआ है कभी ऐसे बंद ही नहीं हुआ है क्रिकेट क्रिकेट क्या सभी बंद हो बट वो बट मेरे मेरे दोस्तों ने ये बंद ये सा, ये सब चीज हमारे ऊपर है अगर हम डिसिप्लिन रखेंगे सारे लोग तो ये जल्दी खुलेगा नहीं तो ये नहीं खुलेगा सिंपल सी बात है हाँ अभी कोशिश तो कर रहे हैं लोग जितना हेल्प कर सके लोग सब एक दूसरे को हेल्प कर रहे हैं पर मेरे दोस्तों ने मुझे आज एक इंटरेस्टिंग स्टार्ट भेजा इंटरेस्टिंग हाँ. स्टार्ट ये है कि हमारी गेम हम सत्तर बार खेले हैं साथ में और हमने आज तक कभी साथ में बैटिंग नहीं की ऐसा कहीं उन्होंने मुझे कभी <laughs> एक एक ऐसा स्टार्ट भेजा है तो मैंने बोला अगर हम लोग साथ में बैटिंग कर रहे हैं या तो बहुत ही बुरी हालत हो गई हम लोग की <laughs> तो वो जितना ना आए वो अच्छा है बात तो सही है क्योंकि एक बंदा पहला बॉल खेलता है मैच का और दूसरा बंदा है जो हो सकता है इनिंग का लास्ट बॉल खेल लास्ट बॉल तो आई थिंक जस्सी यार तेरे को अभी थोड़ा ऊपर बैटिंग करना चाहिए सात आठ नंबर पे आना चाहिए भाई चहल सात आठ नंबर चहल से तो अच्छा ही बैटिंग कर लेता है चहल चहल को मैंने ये बोला है की चहल से मेरे को ऊपर सच में जाना चाहिए क्यूँकी चहल जब छक्का मारेगा तब उसको जाना चाहिए मेरे मेरे बाद इंटरनेशनल छक्का नहीं मारा एक 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 मिनट डिस्टर्ब कर रहा हूँ अभी ये इधर एक गेस्ट एक एक है इधर गेस्ट इस, इसको देख इसको इसने आज तक किसी का इमिटेट नहीं किया बट तेरे को बराबर करेगी वो हेलो व्हाट इज बोल 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 ये ये थैंक यू हो गया मेरा <laughs> वो शायद हो गई है नहीं नहीं वो शायद वो 
सबसे पहला उसने क्रिकेट का किसी का एक्शन किया है तो वो तेरा किया है अच्छा है ना उसकी चॉइस अच्छी है बहुत बढ़िया अच्छा बॉलर सेलेक्ट किया उसने हाँ उसको बोला बोलिंग बॉलर नहीं बनना चाहिए यार अगर बनना ही है कुछ तो बैट्समैन बन जा पर क्रिकेटर क्यों बनवा अरे नहीं मैं भी मान रही हूँ यार उसको क्रिकेट विकेट कुछ नहीं खिलाना है मुझे जो करेगी नहीं जो मर्जी जो अभी तो क्या यार अभी एक साल डेढ़ साल की है यार तो अभी तो भी मुझे बता दिए भाई यू आर I know you are very strict with your diet, but तुम दोनों आपस में बड़े जंक फूड की बातें करते हो यार so हाँ, तो अभी क्या जंक फूड का क्या है मतलब what, what is the situation? कुछ खाया कि नहीं वहां पे मैंने अहमदाबाद में सुना है वो जस्सूबेन खतरनाक है एकदम क्लास है अभी तो सब बंद है अभी तो कहा बाहर से नहीं, पर, अभी नहीं मतलब पर ये पहले खाया है पहले खाया है ये ये जब भी कुछ खाते है ऐसे पेस्ट्रीज या ऐसे कुछ भी तो ये मुझे भेजते है की देखो मैं खा रही हूँ तुम नहीं खा सकते हो तो मेरे को ये थोड़ा ऐसी अच्छी बात नहीं है कि बेचारे जो बंदा नहीं खाता है वो जो नहीं खा पा रहा है ऐसा नहीं है कि नहीं खाना मतलब खाना अच्छा नहीं लगता है वो तो डाइट के हिसाब से पर अभी तो कुछ भी डाइट नहीं अभी तो जो घर वालों ने बोला है कि जो बनेगा चुपचाप खा लो नहीं तो खुद बना लो अब खाना तो बनाना आता नहीं है तो जो मम्मी बना रही है वो हम खा रहे अगर यार एक मुझे पूछना था ऐसे क्योंकि मुझे ना बहुत लोग पूछ रहे की फास मुझे लोग रिक्वेस्ट भेज रहे फास्ट बोलर्स लोग कैसे घर में बैठ के क्या एक्सरसाइज कर सकते हैं मैं क्योंकि मैं तो बैट्समैन हूँ मेरा अलग होगा जो भी होगा बट बोलर सो अभी घर में बैठ के व्हाट आर द एक्सरसाइजेज और व्हाट काइंड ऑफ रूटीन इफ अ यंग बर्डिंग बोलर हु जस्ट प्रॉब्ली स्टार्टेड प्लेइंग क्रिकेट ना और वॉज इन दिक ऑफ थिंग्स सडनली अभी सब बंद हो गया तो वो लोग बाहर तो जाके कुछ कर नहीं सकते जिम विम सब बंद है तो घर में रह के क्या वट कैन दे डू बहुत है तो हम लोग मैं भी अभी वही हम लोग के लिए भी अभी एकदम ही नया ये चीज है कि मतलब घर पे बिल्कुल ही बंद मतलब बिल्कुल कहीं बाहर नहीं जा सकते मुश्किल है हम लोग के पास कुछ कुछ चीजें हैं अवेलेबल शायद सब लोगों के पास है नहीं पर वो थेरा बैंड हो गया कि मतलब बॉडी वेट एक्सरसाइज हो गई बट इससे हम मैं जो अभी कर रहा हूँ कि मैं जो आप चापी भी है हमारा ट्रेनर मुंबई इंडियंस का उससे मैंने प्रोग्राम लिया तो बॉडी वेट एक्सरसाइजेस तो मतलब हो गया जंप स्क्वाड्स हो गए लंजेस पुशअप्स तो सुपर सेट करके साथ में उसने रेपुटेशन बढ़ा दिए तो वो डिफिकल्ट हो रहा है तो ऐसे सब करके थोड़ा मैनेज करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं ऑब्वियसली रनिंग तो यहाँ हो नहीं पा रही है क्योंकि आपके पास अगर ट्रेडमिल है तो आप कवर अप कर सकते हो बट सब लोग के पास होगा नहीं तो ये सब भी सुपर सेट एक्सरसाइजेस करके हम लोग कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि हम कैसे ना कैसे कवर अप करें बट बेसिक वो अच्छा तो मतलब बेसिकली यही है कि जो भी तुम जिम में करते थे वो घर में कर सकते हो बट विदाउट एनी वेट बट ज्यादा रेपुटेशन सिंपल वही हम कोशिश कर रहे हैं और ये आ, लोग मैं मेरे को भी जानना था यू यू आर अ बिग फैन ऑफ इब्राहिम इब्राहिम हम्म सो एनीथिंग आवाज आवाज ही कम हो गया पता नहीं क्या हो गया आवाज नहीं आ रहा मेरा आवाज कम हो गया बट बहुत धीरे धीरे आ रहा है बट कोई नहीं सुनाई दे रहा है अभी रहने दो अगर गायब हो गया तो फिर बहुत मुश्किल से होगा तो ये ऐसी धीरे आवाज भी चलने दो कर नहीं रहा इसीलिए तो जस्ट टेल मी अबाउट इब्राहिमोविच की वो उन्होंने वो कैसे यार तुम्हारे उसमें जिंदगी में मतलब हाउ इज ही एज एन इंस्पिरेशन व्हाट हैज ही यार फुटबॉल फुटबॉल का तो आपको आप तो ज्यादा फॉलो करते हो मेरे से बट मैं कुछ प्लेयर्स को फॉलो करता हूँ तो इसमें ये जलाटान का स्टोरी मुझे इसके लिए पसंद आया है क्योंकि बिंदा जो क्या बिंदा से एकदम जो भी है बिंदास तो है पर वो थोड़ा आ, अलग है कैरेक्टर मेरा वैसा कैरेक्टर नहीं है बहुत ज्यादा अलग है हाँ पर एक है कि उसको मेरे को सिर्फ ये स्टोरी से मैं रिलेट कर सकता हूँ क्योंकि उसको लोगों ने ज्यादा सीरियसली लिया नहीं और सोचा कि वो कभी कुछ नहीं करने वाला है हाँ। <laughs> तो वैसा मुझे मेरे साथ थोड़ा शुरू में ऐसा होता था कि मुझे कोई गिनता ही नहीं था तो इसके लिए हाँ तो वैसा इसके लिए मैं उससे रिलेट कर पाता हूँ थोड़ा तो मुझे इसके लिए वो यार प्लेयर भी तगड़े हैं भाई तुम दोनों तो ऑब्वियसली सेम डायरेक्शन में चल रहा है तुम दोनों का uh, और uh, मलिंगा मलिंगा के बारे में व्हाट यू हैव टू अरे लोग मुझे बोल रहे हैं इंग्लिश में बात करो अरे भाई हम इंडियन है हिंदी में ही बात करेंगे भाई 
तुम हमारे अरे जब इंग्लिश में बात करते हैं तो बोलेंगे इंग्लिश में क्यों बात कर रहे हो तो तो मेरे को बोल रहे हैं इंग्लिश में बात कर रहे भाई बस करो जब टीवी पे इंटरव्यू देना होगा इंग्लिश में देंगे हम लोग घर में बैठे अभी तो लसित मलिंगा हाउ हाउ मतलब उन्होंने कैसे आपको मतलब जब आप टीम में आए थे 2013 में तभी आप मैचेस नहीं खेल रहे थे आपने मतलब उस टाइम से लेके अभी तक अभी सात साल हो गया आठ साल आठवा साल है आठ साल से आप उसके साथ हो तो हाउ डू यू लुक एट हिम एज एन एक्सपीरेशन मतलब क्योंकि बहुत सिमिलर तरीके का आप लोग का बोले है बोलिंग बोलिंग एक्ट मतलब जब वो आए थे वैसे भी आपने देखा है उनसे कम्युनिकेशन करना तो कितना डिफिकल्ट है हाँ, वो तो सबको पता है वो क्या बोलते हैं वो क्या समझते हैं वो पता नहीं मैं जैसे तैसे कुछ बात करता हूँ बट लोग बहुत सोचते हैं कि ऐसा 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 हुआ है मुझे यॉर्कर डालना उन्होंने सिखाया है द द फैक्ट ऑफ द मैटर इज के ऐसा है कि उन्होंने मेरे को जितना हो सके वो माइंडसेट की बात है आपने आपने देखा होगा जब वो मार भी खाते हैं अगर कभी तो वो हंसते हैं कि भाई क्यों हंस रहे हैं तो मैं यूजुअली पहले जब खेलता था तो मैं बहुत जल्दी गुस्सा हो जाता था खेलते हुए तो वो मुझे ये बोल रहे थे कि गुस्सा होने से क्या होने वाला है कोई फायदा होगा नहीं तो स्किल वाइज वो तो प्रैक्टिस जो साथ में की वो तो है बट मेन चीज जितनी मेरी इंप्रूव हुई है वो माइंड रिलेटेड बात है क्योंकि क्रिकेट में सब प्रैक्टिस तो उतनी कर रहे हैं अगर जिसका दिमाग एंड तक शांत रहने वाला है जैसे हम लोग जिस पोजीशन में बोलिंग करते हैं बहुत डिफिकल्ट है तो अगर गुस्सा हो गया तो तो फिर टीम को और प्रॉब्लम हो जाएगी बेसिकली काम तो इक्वेशन अच्छा है उनके साथ काम और अभी भी बात करते रहते हैं और जब एक दूसरे के अगेंस्ट खेलते हो तभी एक दूसरे के अगेंस्ट खेलते है तो ये है कि जब बोलिंग कर रहा होता हूँ मैं उनको एक दो बार बोलिंग करने को आई है तो ये है कि बस मतलब बाउंसर वाउंसर जरा समझ के डालने को बोला है ऐसे थोड़ा बाउंसर नहीं 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 डालने बस यॉर्कर डालो बाउंसर नहीं डालता हाँ। पर ऐसे आउट हुआ नहीं अभी तक वो बच गया अभी तक अभी थोड़ा मेरे को एक्चुअली चहल को बोलिंग करनी मेरे को चहल तो आ... मैं भी यही चाहता हूँ आरसीबी के साथ जब मैच होगा आरसीबी के सामने अगर मेरी बोलिंग आए तो मेरे को चहल को बोल डालनी चहल बिल्कुल मैं भी चाहता हूँ की एक ओवर बचा के रखू ताकि नहीं क्योंकि वो जब वो बैटिंग को लेकर है ना काफी ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट हो गया अभी वो चहल उसने एक वो स्ट्रेट ड्राइव मारा इंग्लैंड में तब से थोड़ा ज्यादा ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट हो गया तो हम्म मैंने उसको ये बोला कि चहल छक्का कैसे मार सकता है चहल अगर तू छक्का मार देगा तो उसके मैं वही बोला कि मुझे उससे ऊपर जाना चाहिए जिस देर उसने छक्का मार दिया तो फिर मैं नीचे आ जाऊंगा वापिस पर वो सुन नहीं रहा है बिल्कुल ओ यार वो तो भूल ही गया मैं चहल को बोलना चाहिए भाई तूने अभी तक एक भी छक्का नहीं मारा इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेट में बुमराह ने मारा है वो भी जो अभी फिलहाल वो एक्चुअली पैट कमिंस को याद भी होगा ये नंबर वन बोलर है भाई उसको याद भी होगा और वेट भी कर रहा होगा कि जब अगली बारी मेरी बैटिंग आएगी और फिर उसको बॉल डालना है तो मुझे तो पता ही है क्या आने वाला है तो उसके लिए मैं प्रिपेयर हुई फिलहाल तो सबसे ज्यादा होप वही कर रहा होगा की आईपीएल हो यार पैट कमिंस नेक्स्ट ईयर तो भाई बड़ा तो ये साल थोड़ा थोड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग हो जाएगा कि मतलब आपका इतना बड़ा आपको इतना अच्छा ऑप्शन गया आपका और आईपीएल ही ना हुआ हो तो थोड़ा फनी हो जाएगा ये फनी हो जाएगा हाउ मच यू आर लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू बोल विद ट्रेंड बोल्ट ट्रेंड बोल्ट बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग बहुत वो जब दिल्ली में भी था तभी भी मेरी उससे बात हुई थी तो वो मुझसे पूछ रहा था कि उसको स्लोअर बॉल का वो कैसे प्रैक्टिस करे और वो सब तो हमारी उस टाइम भी बात हुई थी तो अभी जब हम मिल रहे थे न्यूजीलैंड में भी अभी मिल रहे थे तो तभी हमारा यही बात चल रहा था कि अगर बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग होगा क्योंकि उसने उसको हमेशा मजा आता है कि बॉम्बे में जब वो बॉल डालता है तो उसको बाउंस मिलता है और स्विंग होता है वहां नया बॉल तो स्विंग होता ही है बिल्कुल बिल्कुल तो वो बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग उसको था कि उसको था कि मजा आएगा काफी इंटरेस्टिंग बाइस भी थे हमारे पास क्रिस्लिन नितिन कुल्टनाइल तो काफी एक्साइटेड थे कि मतलब अच्छा, अच्छा टीम लग रहा है हमारा और टीम बहुत अच्छा था सीरियसली मतलब आई वाज वेरी वेरी मच लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू दिस क्योंकि जो बोलिंग कॉम्बिनेशन हमारा हम इतने सालों से हम जो बोल रहे थे कि हमें एकदम लीथल कॉम्बिनेशन चाहिए नया बॉल का वो इस, इस साल हमारे पास था और बैटिंग लाइन भी हमारा ऑलमोस्ट सेटल्ड ही था और उसके बाद हमने क्रिस लिन को एड किया है तो मतलब हमारा हमने इस बार सारा बेसिस जो है हमारा जो भी था सब कवर किया तो किया हुआ था अच्छे से तो इसलिए ये आईपीएल हमारे लिए काफी एक्साइटिंग होने वाला था बट एनीवे आई मीन लेट्स सी 
पर ये तो कंट्रोल नहीं कर सकते कि हाँ, अभी जो हुआ है वो हुआ है बट इम्पोर्टेंट है अभी कि ये चीज खत्म हो जाएगा तो क्रिकेट तो आ ही जाएगा तो आई जाएगा बिल्कुल और क्या था यार आई मीन न्यूजीलैंड अपने दो चार सवाल सोच के रखे थे मन में कि मैंने ये सवाल पूछना है मैंने ऐसा ऐसे ही यार कैजुअल चैट था ये इंटरव्यू जैसा नहीं करना था मुझे यार नहीं बट क्योंकि ये तो मैं सिर्फ पूछ रहा हूँ कि नहीं मेरे को चहल ने नीचे लिखा है कि मेरे से ज्यादा रन बनाया है उसने तो मुझे चुप कर जाना चाहिए ऐसा कब उसने ए, एक चौका मारा वो भी वो भी मैं वो टॉर में नहीं था चहल ना हम्म चल दोनों के बीच में भी कंपटीशन करते हैं कि कौन ज्यादा रन बनाएगा एक साल के बाद हम लोग ये करेंगे और उसके बाद डिसाइड करेंगे कि कौन बेटर बैट्समैन है और भाई यार हाँ यार अब सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट चीज तो मैं पूछना भूल गया यार टीवी शोज और ये वो यार मुझे पता है कि यार यू लाइक ऑल दिस टीवी शोज ये वो फिलहाल आपके प्लेलिस्ट अपना लिस्ट में नंबर वन कौन सा चल रहा है अभी टीवी शोज टीवी शोज तो अभी वो आपने हॉटस्टार में पता है एक, एक आया है कि स्पेशल ऑप्स हाँ स्पेशल इंटरेस्टिंग है आ, वो मुझे वो मैं वो देख रहा हूँ मैंने हो गए हैं चार पांच एपिसोड हो गए हैं अभी बस खत्म होने आएगा दो चार और बट मैं अभी सब चीजों का सब्सक्रिप्शन ले लिया मैंने मतलब सारे सीरीज के मतलब अभी कुछ भी बाकी नहीं रखना है अभी क्या करें एमेजोन हॉटस्टार नेटफ्लिक्स सब कुछ मैं और आप भी कर लेते हैं ऋषभ पूछ रहे मुझे ऋषभ कल कल बात करूंगा तेरे सब भाई तैयार रही हो ऋषभ पंत क्या कर रहा होगा वो सबसे इंटरेस्टिंग बात ये है पहाड़ पे गया हुआ है उसका एक्चुअल घर वहां पर है ना तो पहाड़ पे <laughs> उसने लिखा है कि हाउ हाउ यू बूम सर एंड रोहित सर सर मतलब इतनी चलो आपको तो इज्जत नहीं होगी मुझे तो उसने अपने लाइफ में कभी इतनी इज्जत नहीं दी है जितना यार ये झूठ लिख रहा है बड़ा इंग्लिश झाड़ रहा है अभी कल उससे बात करूंगा ना पूरे इंग्लिश में बात करूंगा हम्म आपके 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 वाइफ ने भी कमेंट किया है वो फ्लेमिंग हॉट चीटोस फ्लेमिंग हॉट चीटोस तो पता नहीं कभी खाया ही नहीं मैंने अरे बुमरा कोई बात नहीं यार तूने खाया भी होगा तो उसमें क्या है यार नहीं नहीं खा लेंगे पर जब जब अवेलेबल होगा तब खा लूंगा मैं लेके घूम रहा है कभी कभी खा सकता है ऐसा कोई उसमें वो थोड़ी है नहीं नहीं खाता ही हूँ बट यहाँ यहाँ ऐसे मिलता नहीं है ना मतलब चीटोज के बारे में मैंने इतना देखा नहीं <laughs> पंत और चहल मेरा दिमाग खा रहे इसमें चहल तू मैं वही देख रहा हूँ लिख रहे हैं कुछ इसमें अपने पिताजी को नचा रहा है यार तेरे को शर्म आ रहा है कि नहीं वो बोल रहा है कि आप और मेरा और चहल का कंपटीशन कर रहा है बोलते हैं आप और मैं भी कंपटीशन करते हैं कि कौन कितना मार सकता है कितना मार आप लोग दोनों वो तूने मूवी देखा है अपना वो रन रन मूवी देखा है जो अभिषेक बच्चन और उसका मूवी है वो यार उसमें एक कैरेक्टर है वो कौवा बिरयानी विजय राज वो विजय राज चहल चहल एग्जैक्ट कौवा बिरयानी उसका नाम रखा चहल नहीं ऋषभ पंत ऋषभ पंत बोल रहा है कि वो और आपका कंपटीशन करना है कि कौन सबसे दूर मार सकता है पंत अच्छा पंत बोल रहा है आप और वो अच्छा मेरे साथ उसको करना है हाँ साल एक साल हुआ नहीं उसको क्रिकेट खेल के छक्के कॉम्पिटिशन कर रहा है उसको बोलता हूँ मैं, मैं भाई मैं मैं लोगों से पूछता हूँ डाल दे उस पे लोगो, डालता हूँ लोगों से आप पूछोगे कि कौन कौन ज्यादा दूर मार सकता है बॉल के कि, को, अभी ये तो मतलब बेचारा फंस जाएगा <laughs> यार मैं वही बोल रहा हूँ अभी जब पंगा क्यों ले रहा है फिर चुपचाप बैठ ना अभी सब सब घर पे बोर हो रहे हैं आई टॉक इन शुद्ध हिंदी ओनली हाँ ये ये सब बीसी कर रहे हो ये चहल चहल तो होता ही है चहल ऑनलाइन है मैं ये सब देख रहा हूँ आपने चहल... कितनी बार किया है मतलब ये इंटरेस्टिंग है ये मैंने ज्यादा किया नहीं है मेरे साथ केविन पीटरसन ने किया केविन पीटरसन ने मुझे बोला कि व्हाई डोंट यू टॉक विद फ्यू ऑफ योर टीममेट्स ऐसे ही लोगों अच्छा लोगों को कुछ तो मिले यार क्रिकेट का वो लोग को आता है वो लोग रेगुलरली अच्छे से कर लेते हैं हम लोग थोड़ा इसमें अनाड़ी है अनाड़ी तो यार मतलब अच्छा ये मुंबई इंडियंस ने भी कुछ लिखा है मुंबई इंडियंस ने लिखा है 
के हिटमैन के साथ पंगा पड़ेगा महंगा ये इंटरेस्टिंग चीजें लिख रहे हैं लोग टाइम पास चल रहा है और कितने लोगों को हार्दिक सर का आपने आपने हार्दिक सर से बात की है नहीं अभी नहीं किया यार अभी वो पता नहीं किधर गायब हो गया दोनों भाई लोग गायब है काफी ज्यादा ही सर दोनों बात करूंगा धीरे धीरे लोगों से यार अभी और क्या घर में बैठ के कुछ तो करे टाइम पास आवाज गया तेरा बुमराह आवाज गया तेरा पूरा गया आवाज नहीं आ रहा है हाँ अभी आया आवाज आ रहा है ये नीचे माइक्रोफोन है ना उसमें अगर तूने हाथ लगाया तो नहीं आएगा आवाज मैंने तो नीचे नहीं हाथ लगाया हाँ नहीं वो शायद तो अभी ठीक है आ रहा आवाज हाँ अभी ठीक है अभी ठीक है चहल पूछ रहा है मुंबई इंडियंस मिस कर रहा है मुझे किसको चहल को चहल पूछ रहा है कि उसको मिस कर रहा है अच्छा चहल को बोल बैठे मतलब मन से मन से वो वापस आना चाहता है आरसीबी के पास जाएगा ये मैसेज बोल दिया उसको आ, उसको वो ये कप्तान को बोलेंगे <laughs> <laughs> अगर अगर मुंबई अगर हारता था एक भी जीतता नहीं था तो शायद मिस करते थे उसको बड़ा भी हम जीत रहे तो हम क्यों मिस करें उसको भाई वो सुन रहा हो <laughs> ये बात तो वो बिल्कुल ही सुन रहा हो बैंगलोर में बैठ तो अच्छा है उधर <laughs> आपने उससे भी एक बार बात किया था ना चहल से भी बात किया था काफी पांच छह दिन पहले बात किया था तो मैंने चहल तो हर रोज हर रोज यही मिलता होगा ये टाइम पे मतलब उसको अगर देखना हो तो हर रोज एवरी अदर डे तो लाइव होता ही होगा तो उसको यही यही कॉन्टेक्ट कर सकते उसके लिए मेरा आइडिया ले लिया उसने मैंने उसको बोला था कि मैं कुछ प्लेयरों के साथ करूंगा ऐसी बातचीत अभी वो अपने दोस्तों के साथ बातचीत कर रहा है ऑनलाइन जाके ये वो सब अबे चहल खुद का कुछ मैंने उसको मैंने उसको बोला थोड़े थोड़ा टाइम अभी नई नई हॉबी लेनी है तो सोशल मीडिया को जाने दे कुछ और ट्राई कर और वो सुनता नहीं है हमारे जितने भी लोग है अभी व्यूअर्स लोग जितने भी लोग देख रहे हैं उन्होंने हमको कभी ऐसे नहीं बात करते हुए देखा होगा जैसे अभी हम लोग बात कर रहे भाई साहब हम लोग ऐसे ही बात करते हैं जब हम अपने होटल में रहते हैं हम अपने घरों में होते हैं तो जो भी आप हमें सुनते हो इंटरव्यू देते हुए वो इंटरव्यू है तो ये हमारा घर का घर का सीन है घर का माहौल अच्छा मुझे मुझे एक बात बताओ कि आप खाना होना बनाना सीखा आपने खाना, खाना होना बना पाता हूँ यार मैं बेसिक अपना ये जो है तो बना लेता हूँ समय से हाय बाबा उसको यार मच्छर ने काट लिया देख उसके सर पे लाल हो गया उसका उसका मूड नहीं है उसका मूड कभी रहता है कभी अभी यहाँ से जाएगी तो चिल्लाएगी बूम 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 करके वो बोलती है तेरा वो तो मेरे को मेरे को वीडियो भेजा था मैं वो बहुत मैंने रखा है वीडियो बूम बूम वेस बूम बूम नो यू वांट टू से एनीथिंग पता नहीं यार अभी उसका पूरे मूड पे डिपेंड है वो भी वो खाना, थोड़ा बहुत खाना होना मतलब पास्ता हो गया या फिर वेजीज हो गया वेजी सैलेड परसों उसने वेजी सैलेड बनाया था वो बहुत अच्छा था ऑलिव ऑयल के साथ तो एंड एंड झाड़ू कट का झाड़ू कट का मैंने झाड़ू मारा अपने कमरे का क्योंकि मेरे को अपना कमरा चाहिए साफ बाकी तो मैंने नहीं किया कुछ बाकी नहीं नहीं बाकी नहीं बट हाँ थोड़ा बहुत यार यहाँ वहां अभी यही सब कर रहा उस दिन मैं जब पीटरसन से बात कर रहा था उसके पहले मेरे को पूरा घर साफ कर रहा था मैं ढाई घंटा लगा यार मुझे साफ करने में अरे हमको तो आदत ही मैंने हमारे घर में बालकनी में गार्डन लगा हाँ। तो गार्डन में वो अभी सेट ही हो रहा था क्योंकि हम हम जैसे ही न्यूजीलैंड से आए तो नए घर में शिफ्ट हुए तो काफी नाइनटी चीजें हो गई थी बट कुछ कुछ चीजें बाकी हुई तो आधा गार्डन बना हुआ है अब अब तो ये लॉकडाउन आ गया तो वो गार्डन का माली मैं बन गया हूँ क्योंकि और कोई चढ़ चढ़ के पानी डाल नहीं सकता है तुम तो मैं ही बना तुम लोग वहां पर बड़े बड़े घरों में रहते हो इधर हम अपार्टमेंट में फंस गए यार इतना बड़ा भी घर नहीं है ये बट तुम्हारे पास गार्डन वार्डन तो है ना यार हमारे पास तो हम हाँ बालकनी में बालकनी में है हमारे पास व्यू है हम ऊपर से हमको व्यू दिखता है अच्छा पूरे नहीं यहाँ पे मैं तो सेकेंड फ्लोर पे ही रहता तो हम लोग का तो इतना कोई व्यू व्यू का ऐसा नहीं है बट है यहाँ पे अभी मतलब लोग अभी थोड़ा फ्रस्ट्रेट हो रहे हैं 
क्योंकि पर क्या करें बस ये कुछ ये टाइम ये टाइम थोड़ा निकलस्टेड हो जाओ घर में बैठ के जो करना है करो टीवी तोड़ो ये तोड़ो वो तोड़ो जो करना है करो बट घर पे बैठ के करो जो भी करना है घर पे बिल्कुल घर पे ही बैठ के हम लोगों को घर के बाहर निकलना है सैनिटाइजेशन करते रहना चाहिए हमको घर के बाहर निकलना है हमको अपना लाइफ आगे लेके जाना है आज बेसिकली फर्स्ट तो लोग फैलाने चाहिए वो रूमर्स जो फैलाते हैं कि ये है वो है ये है वो है बिल्कुल बिल्कुल यार ये सब थोड़ा समझदारी से काम लेना होगा और क्या बस चहल की तरह चहल की तरह मत सोचो चहल को कुछ भी कुछ भी हो तो चहल को बीच में कॉन्वर्जेशन में चहल आ ही जाता है वो अपने आप को बहुत बड़ा वो अपने आप को ग्रेट समझता है यार तुम लोग के लोगों को किसी को पता नहीं है ये बात अभी तो मैं लाइव भी उसको उसको बहुत मजा आता है उसमें वो इसका इतना फ्लो में वो आराम से उसको रोज वो इंस्टाग्राम वो मतलब आगे जाके इन्फ्लुएंसर बन सकता है जैसे उसका क्रिकेट खत्म होगा आप कुछ ना कुछ आपका ट्रेनिंग चालू हो जाता है आप सीखते हो नया नया हर साल क्योंकि हमारा स्टाफ भी ऐसा है ये टीम ये दो जो महीना था अप्रैल और मई पूरा मतलब त्योहार का महीना होता है यार इंडिया में दो आईपीएल लोगों के लिए त्योहार जैसे ही है बट एक फैमिली बॉन्ड जो बोलते हैं ना वो वो बन 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 गया था हमारा यहाँ पर इतना अच्छे तरीके से वही वो मुझे मुझे बोल रहा था कोई के टू था मैं तो आप तो और भी पहले से टू के बाद ये पहला बार है कि अप्रैल और मई ऐसा टाइम है कि हम लोग घर पे नहीं तो कभी घर पे ही नहीं होते चांस ही नहीं मतलब आप तो बॉम्बे में होते हो बट फिर अरे भाई आईपीएल के पहले भी अप्रैल मई में हम कभी घर पे नहीं थे यार हमारा या तो आ, कोई या, या स्कूल का टूर्नामेंट होता था या कोई जोनल टूर्नामेंट होता था कुछ ना कुछ होता अप्रैल मई में कौन घर बैठता है यार आई थिंक जब भी हम स्कूल में थे ना तभी हम घर पे बैठते थे क्योंकि वो समर हॉलीडेज होता था समर वेकेशन हाँ पर तभी भी क्रिकेट तो खेलते हो ना क्रिकेट तो खेलते ही थे हम बट चलो होप करते हैं यार कि ये सब बेटर हो जाए एंड होपफुली अपर अच्छा लोग सुन तो रहे कम से कम चीजें हो तो रही है तो काफी उससे फर्क पड़ रहा है लोग मुझे तो श्रेयास बुमराह हु इज द टफेस्ट बैट्समैन ही इज फेस्ड टू बोल टू फ्रॉम नॉट फ्रॉम इंडिया बट आउटसाइड इंडिया कौन है भाई टफेस्ट बैट्समैन टू बोल टू हां आवाज गया बुमराह तेरा वापस अभी आ रहा है आवाज आ गया आ गया टफेस्ट बैट्समैन मतलब किधर का टफेस्ट बैट्समैन इंडिया का टफेस्ट बैट्समैन के बाहर इंडिया के बाहर पूछ रहे हो लोग इंडिया के बाहर ऐसे मतलब दिन की बात होती है कभी तो कोई भी मार सकता है ऐसा पता ही है पर अगर एक मतलब डिफिकल्ट अगर है तो लास्ट में तो ए बी को डिफिकल्ट होता ही है जब डालते हैं यार यहाँ वहां करके कुछ भी मार देता है फिर जॉस बटलर भी लास्ट में कभी कभी मुश्किल हो जाता है जॉस बटलर वो भी जो, जो भी बैट्समैन साले चारों तरफ खेलते ना शॉट वो डिफिकल्ट हो जाता है कैप्टन तो कैप्टन भी यार तुम कहाँ कहाँ फील्ड लगाओगे यार देखो आप लास्ट में बोलिंग करते हो तो ऐसे कभी कभी तो कोई भी छक्का मार देता है बिल्कुल बिल्कुल सही बात है बट हम पर मुश्किल है अच्छा ठीक है तो अगर इस बार आईपीएल हुआ तो चहल का याद रखेंगे हम लोग ठीक है एक ओवर चहल को हंड्रेड परसेंट और और चहल को डालने का भी राउंड विकेट आउट ही नहीं करना विकेट नहीं उसको आउट नहीं करना है उसको छह बॉल खेलना है बस फिर मैं देखता <laughs> वो नहीं वो ये नहीं सुन रहा भी अगर हो गए ना अपील नहीं करेंगे हम लोग ठीक है छोड़ देंगे शॉर्ट लेग टेस्ट मैच वाली फील्ड रख सकते हैं टेस्ट मैच वाली फील्ड लेग गली एक शॉर्ट लेग स्लिप विप की भी जरूरत नहीं है मैं चाहिए तो लेग साइड में दो स्लिप लगा दूंगा नहीं बट वहां पे तीन फील्डर नहीं हो सकते ना उससे ज्यादा तो ठीक है कोई बात नहीं नहीं कुछ भी हो राउंड द विकेट डालने का राउंड द विकेट उसको बॉडी लाइन बोलिंग तो थोड़ा वो पुल मारता है ना अच्छा अभी ऐसे ही कुछ लिखेगा कि मैं पुल मार दूंगा मैं ये कर दूंगा देख लेंगे पुल मारता है कि नहीं देखता हूँ मैं पुल मारता है कि नहीं देखा लिख रहा है आया उसका कुछ आया ऐसा लिख रहा है अच्छा बेटे ठीक है ठीक है ये ये तो इंटरेस्टिंग हुआ एक बॉल डाली थी अभी प्रैक्टिस कर रहे थे 
फिर से आवाज गया हेलो हाँ अभी आया एक बॉल डाली थी धर्मशाला के नेट्स में तो खेला नहीं चला गया और एक ही बॉल डाली उसमें बोल्ड भी हुआ फिर बोल रहा है लाइट नहीं है ये है वो है हाँ नहीं नहीं मेरे को उसको अच्छा अभी तो देख के रहूंगा मुंबई इंडियंस का एक सवाल है कि वो ग्रुप डांस किसने कोरियोग्राफ किया था न्यूजीलैंड में ग्रुप डांस ये आइडिया चहल का था वीडियो बनाने का बट डांस तो हमने यार आ, सामने देख के एक कोई वीडियो था उसको देख के हमने कोरियोग्राफ किया बट कोरियोग्राफर एक्चुअली मैं ही था मैंने ही सबको बताया तो पर आपने अपना चेहरा क्यों कवर कर दिया था यार वो लोग ने मुझे बोला कि भाई थोड़ा स्वैग चाहिए ये चाहिए तो मैं ऐसे एकदम थोड़ा सा स्वैग कवर कर दिया बट हाँ अरे यार किसी को भी पता था कि वो मैं